Good evening and welcome to the 2023 Met Gala. I am Lala Anthony here on the steps of the Metropolitan Museum of Art right in New York City. Tonight we honor the life and legacy of one of the most influential and prolific designers in the history of fashion, Karl Lagerfeld, and celebrate the Costume Institute's newest exhibition, Karl Lagerfeld, A Line of Beauty, which opens to the public on Friday, May 5th. I am joined now by my co-host for the evening, Saturday Night Live's Chloe Feynman, and writer and fashion's best friend, Derek Blasberg. I must say you two look absolutely terrific tonight. Hey, I hope we get to meet some of the people you are impersonating on SNL yes, tonight. Yes, yes, as do I, as long as they don't get mad at me. <laughs> You should definitely impersonate as many people to their faces as possible tonight. <laughs> okay, we shall see. Lala, any advice you for know, us first You know, I'll tell you hosts? that it just goes by so much faster than you think, so let's make sure we soak it all in and just have fun. You are looking gorgeous, by the way. Thank you, thank you. This is Sergio Hudson. Definitely put it together. He did an incredible, incredible job. So shout out to Sergio. And tonight's dress code is in honor of Carl. So I wanted to make sure my look was on point. Derek, I know you will tell me the real deal. <laughs> did I hit the mark or what? Lala, you knocked it out of the park. Carl liked monochromatic. He liked pearls. And I'm sure he would have loved you. Oh, I love you so much, so much. Thank and, you. And how about me? Oh, oh, well, of course, Chloe. You look perfect. And I don't know if you got, where's oh, your purse? Perfect. Oh, here, look, y'all. Yes, we have our little Choupette. People were wondering if Choupette would be here tonight, and you know what? Here he is. Here he is. Being them. Them. They are in purse form. Um, I am in Wiederhof tonight, my dear friend Jackson Wiederhof. The look is inspired by Karl Lagerfeld, Couture for Chanel in 2004. And what about your jewelry? Oh, a little bulgari. A little bulgari never killed nobody. <laughs> and you look very, very dashing, I must say. Well, I, just can't. I just wanted to point out I have a camellia pin. You're going to see a lot of camellias tonight. Coco Chanel loved this flower, and this version was designed by Karl Lagerfeld and give it to me. It's kind of a disco, metallic, techno mesh version of a camellia. Ooh, very, very dashing, I must say. And I'm excited for more camellias. Hey, Lala, who do you have there? I am joined now by Vogue's global editor-director, Condé Nast's chief content officer, and longtime Met Gala co-chair, Dame Anna Winter, who I love so much. Anna, thank you so much for just putting together an extraordinary evening for all of us. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And it's a very emotional night for me. I love Carl so much. And it's just wonderful to see so many people who are turning out to, to honor him and... and give him the recognition that he so deserves. Absolutely. Now, what can you tell us about the exhibition that we're here to celebrate? So many people are excited to see. Well, the exhibition really examines uh, themes that run through Carl's work. And Andrew Bolton, the curator, the chief curator at the Costume Institute, told me he looked at 10,000 objects wow. to whittle it down to just 200. What? So, uh, and then, I mean, each, each object, as Andrew describes them is more beautiful than the next and you really see for 65 years how Carl just uh, was so creative so visionary invented so many things and at the same time I think was intrinsically the chicest designer that you can ever imagine absolutely so with everything going on and so many beautiful moments what are you looking forward to the most tonight or how do you even pick one thing well i i always love to see what everybody is wearing on the carpet and i've had been lucky enough to have a sneak preview of what some of our guests are, are wearing and i'm just so grateful that they've made such an uh, incredible effort and i know i know how thrilled car would have been Absolutely, and I just want to thank you for helping me with my dress tonight, and I feel so good, and thank you so much, and I hope you have an incredible evening. And have fun yourself. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Okay. Thank you, Anna, who was here. Beautiful, amazing, and the evening is going to continue. It's going to be epic. Wow, Emma Chamberlain has arrived. Emma Chamberlain? Yes. Oh, she's like the Internet's little sister. Yes. I love you, Emma. We love you, Emma. She will also be interviewing guests on the carpet this evening. You can watch those interviews on Vogue's YouTube channel, and hopefully we will be able start, to check in start. with her later this evening. We finally get to see. 
This year's Met Gala is co-chaired by Michaela Cole, Penelope Cruz, Roger Federer, and Dua Lipa, and they'll be walking the carpet alongside more of the most notable figures from the worlds of film, music, yes. sports, politics, and of course, fashion. <laughs> we'll be interviewing them right here, and you can help us. Join the conversation by using the hashtag MetGala. Share your questions and comments on social media, and we will feature our favorites right here on the show. We'll also be conducting viewer polls throughout the evening, so make sure you check those out. I am here with Nicole Kimmon, who also just shut down the Met Gala carpet as you were coming up. I was just like, you look amazing. And this dress looks familiar. Can you tell us about the dress? So this dress was worn um, in the Chanel Number no. 5 commercial that um, Baz Luhrmann and I did with Carl, who concocted this out of um, his head. It's I have gorgeous. the sketches when he was drawing it. Wow. And then we fitted it. I remember fitting it repeatedly. Mm -hmm. um, and I think my deep, deep sort of love of Carl came through this time together because I knew him very, very well. And um, so to be able to honor him and wear this dress now for Chanel and show, I suppose, the way these these couture gowns last yes. and the Isn't exquisiteness. And if you take wow. care of them and mm -hmm. love them, um, they are timeless. Absolutely. And to I be able to wear the same thing, thing 20 years later and it still holds yeah. it. Because it's amazing. a whimsy. There's whimsy to it. Right. And it's so light as a feather and wow. it's unbelievably comfortable, but it's all handmade. It's couture. And you that's what it should be. Absolutely gorgeous, so, Nicole. And absolutely gorgeous. And I hear so many people tell stories about working with Carl and how amazing it was and how kind and how patient. What was your experience like working with Carl? <laughs> He'd make me laugh. He was, he was funny. so funny, yeah. Cool. And I also just, I, I think right now to celebrate the history of fashion and the way in mm -hmm. which we um, need the the beautiful, beautiful work that goes into these clothes Absolutely. to be honored and remembered. That's what I love. Absolutely. Mm, I think because it's an art form. For an incredible evening. Yeah. Just and now we go and have fun. Here. Now you get to have fun <laughs> and you yeah. look absolutely stunning. And my, Thank you so much. And my husband's yes. here. Hi, how are you, Keith? It's nice to see you. So yeah. You're just staring like a proud, proud husband. I love that. You guys have an incredible evening. Thank, Thank you, you so right, much. See you. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you, see you. Okay, bye. <laughs> and we have a great group down here, none other than the supermodel, Naomi Campbell. Hello. And the director of the Met, the, the, the guy in charge tonight, Max Hello. Holine and his wife, you, Ma right? how are you? Yeah. Good. Um, Naomi, I don't want to put you on the spot, but how many Met Galas have you been to? This is my 16th Met Gala. Sweet 16. Wow, a sophomore in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and Max, have you ever met Carl Lagerfeld? I know that's who we're celebrating tonight. Well, I actually met him when I was 12 years old, uh, which was, of course, a childhood memory. He designed, together with my father, a big uh, theater production in Vienna. Mm -hmm. And my fondest memory is they got booed off the stage because <laughs> it was so radical. Uh, and wow. also that kind of gave me an impression of that when you do something radical, actually appreciation only happens then afterwards. Uh, so it was a Why great was it bit. pulled off the stage? Yeah. Because they, I mean, Carl's designs, his fashion design was ahead of the time. My father's architecture for that piece. It was at the Vienna Burgtheater, the main theater place in Vienna. So right. it's been That's a special incredible. thing. That's incredible. Wow. Yeah. That's a good story. Naomi, you must have known Carl too. I met Carl Lagerfeld when I was 16 years old. And he put me in every chameleon that he could have in the spang in the studio. And I used to go out after Inez de la Frassange, who was the yes. um, Chanel girl at the time. And he always, I loved Carl. He treated me like, you know, what would you, how would you wear it? Are you like saris this year? Okay, let's do a Chanel sari. <laughs> he was, he was always very tapped in tapped into each individual person. And I think tonight, from what I've seen so far, everyone looks their individual Chanel-esque style. Thank you. That is beautiful. Thank you guys so much for thank being you. here. And we will see you thank inside. You. Thank you so much. Excited to be here. Good thank to you meet you, Naomi. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Great to see you. Yeah, thank you. We'll thank you, guys. You. Thank you.
good. So this is a moment. Ice Spice is here at the Met Gala. This is your first one. You hit the carpet. You shut it down. Let's talk about how it feels to be at your first Met Gala. I'm just so grateful. I'm so happy to be here. You know, I was I was like really nervous, like approaching the carpet. Right. And once I heard everybody screaming, I was like, I felt better. You was like, yeah. oh, I'm okay. Tell, <laughs> I was tell like us, here. tell us about your look, cause you look so good. Thank you. This is Balmain. Mm -hmm. Um, super last minute, but. We did it. We here. You did it. You did it. You did it. Okay. Okay. Everybody see that. <laughs> you look stunning. So what are you expecting from your first Met Gala? Like, what are you looking forward to? What are you excited about? Some fire pictures, hopefully. And the fact that you got the, the, the camera right there ready to go. Almost that's with her. Yes. We're going to go in there. We're going to have fun. We're going to party. We're going to yes. have a good time. Thank you. You look right. amazing. You too, baby. I can't wait to see you inside. Okay. All right. I spice everybody. Okay. I'll see you inside, okay? Okay. All right, baby. Okay. As everyone knows, this year's Met Gala celebrates the opening of the Costume Institute's newest exhibition, Karl Lagerfeld, A Line of Beauty. It looks back at the designer's career and process. Across seven decades, Karl put a stamp on some of Europe's most celebrated fashion houses, Balmain, Pateau, Chloe, Fendi, and of course, Chanel. 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 <laughs> Channel. <laughs> he also launched his own label in 1984 and was the first designer to work with H&M, which ushered in an entire new age of the designer cal designer collaboration, and that was in 2004. Yes, and I had a coveted H&M item. You heard it here. <laughs> Carl is probably the most famous designer since Coco Chanel herself and has left an indelible mark on the history of fashion. Chloe and I checked it out this morning, yes. and I got to say that exhibit is Fascinating. It is more than fascinating. It's stunning. It will make you cry and take your breath away. In fact, let's take a look inside right now. Carl would often say he was four people, that he was one person at Chanel, one person at Fendi, one person at his own label, and one person at Chloe. And to an extent, that's true. I think that at Fendi, it was more of his modernist tendencies. Chloe, he's more romantic. That Karl Lagerfeld is more minimalist, and I suppose at Chanel, more of his historicist and postmodernist sensibilities. But I think that what the show, I hope, shows is that themes transcended all of those houses and he would revisit themes again and again. And there's one particular silhouette that he would return to again and again and again, which we call the Schlemmerian silhouette, which was a very broad shoulder a nipped in waist and wider hips. And I think that the areas of the body that he was obsessed with were the shoulders and also just at the top of the ribcage. He always wanted to make it as narrow as possible, which meant a high arm hole. And I think that was partly to do with youthfulness. I think he felt that having this very narrow ribcage gave him a sort of sense of youthfulness. All right, I am joined now by one of this evening's co-chair, the utterly fabulous, gorgeous, I mean, you shut it down, Michaela Cole is here with me. Now, I'm going to go out there and say this is one of my favorite looks of the night, for sure. Thank you. I'm going to say you look absolutely stunning. I love you. You look stunning. Tell us about this look. Like, you guys have to see this. Tell us about this. I am wearing Chaparelli. And uh, we can see the homages to Carl here wow. in the chain, in the lips, in the clutching of the pearls. Wow. Uh, it's a collaboration between my stylist, Georgia, and Daniel. I'm just like a total tourist in this industry. I'm here to serve and I'm here to honor their creative vision. Um, I wanted to have a lot of gold. And he created this like second skin. I just love There's 130,000 crystals. 130,000 crystals. 26,000 mixed stones. Oh, yes. And over 3,800 hours of work to make this dress. Wow. Yeah. That has to be an honor to wear something. This is, this is a work of art. This yeah. is an absolute work of art. Now, Michaela, you were on the cover of Vogue last November. So now you're here at the Met Gala. So what was it like preparing for tonight? Oh, you know what? I felt a, um, a strange sense of peace mm -hmm. because yesterday I was at uh, the pre-dinner mm -hmm. and Anna said something. I'd been wondering, you know, like, 
why was I asked to coach it? You know, I, I couldn't help but have the question in the back right. of my mind, to be honest. And uh, she said, what I like about you is that you are unafraid to be yourself. And Carl, her dear friend, fashion icon, she felt uh, his journey was to try and learn to be unafraid of being himself. Wow. And so she felt like he would like that about me. And suddenly I just felt very much at ease about being here. Absolutely. I'm just out here being myself and I appreciate Anna for appreciating that and yeah. giving me such lovely opportunities, really. Yes, amazing. And you and I haven't met before and I was so excited to meet you tonight. So thank Likewise. you for coming over and chatting and I hope you have an incredible evening. My pleasure, I like you, you've got great energy. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Thank Take you. care. All right, so I am here with someone who needs no introduction, the beautiful Giselle. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You look absolutely amazing. Thank so you. you've worked with Carl numerous times over Chanel campaigns over the years. So do you have a favorite? Is it so hard to choose? Um, you know, I, I, it's hard to choose. I just, like, love the memories with him and just the times together. And uh, he was a gentleman and a wonderful man, always so kind. And, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe one time we were shooting the, the, in the streets of Paris okay. at night, uh -huh. like at midnight, and I had no shoes, bare feet, the whole campaign of Chanel with bare feet around town. That was pretty funny. I mean, people were like, what are you doing bare feet around <laughs> like, Paris? It's shoes? so dirty. Right. I'm like, you know, I'm just doing Chanel, walking around bare feet. But um, it was fun. He's just a, he was a lovely man. So I'm Absolutely. happy to be here to honor him. Absolutely. And when was the last time you worked with Carl? Uh, the last time it was... Um, I'm trying to think if it was Chanel number no. five. There was a Chanel number no. five party in New York, and I think that was no, no, no. It was in Cuba. Okay. We were in Cuba together. Beautiful place. Beautiful, and he was doing a show, and I was doing Chanel number no. five at the time, and he invited me to go. And um, yeah, I think that was the last time I saw him in Cuba. Absolutely. Now tell us about your look. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So this dress, I'll show you. It's so gorgeous. Is a vintage uh, Chanel. I wore this this dress. Um, I think 2016. No, 2006 or 2007. Wow. In an editorial with him, I wore the same dress. Wow. So I, when I was picking a dress, I was like, which dress that is going to be the dress? Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is this is this the is one. the one. So well, you made a great choice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you Happy so liking. much for stopping by, and I hope you have an incredible evening, and you look fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye, guys. Take care. Like, I feel like this would all Like right now? <laughs> we are joined here by one of my favorite people in the world, Kiki Palmer Aww. and the brilliant Sergio Hudson. Yes. Hello. <laughs> I assume that Sergio Hudson designed this incredible yes. ensemble we have tonight. Oh, Tell my God. Can we see it. the train? Oh, my gosh. Well, this is a gorgeous dress. He can explain as well, but obviously, I mean, you want to go and do your thing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm just going to explain it for you. Okay. Well, <laughs> when, I, when I saw Kiki, I saw, you know, Hollywood royalty, black Hollywood royalty. So I immediately thought about Josephine Baker in her heyday. Wow. And this was around the same time, like late 50s, early 60s, when Carl was at Petu. So I wanted to give like a nod to that era with the silhouette. And then, of course, my favorite era of Chanel with Carl is the early 90s. So we really wanted to give a nod to that with the pastels mm -hmm. and with the styling and, you know, all of that. So it's just fun and, you know, visiting a lot of different eras. It is breathtaking, I have it's, to it's say. Like a, it's like a whole fashion history lesson. You I know. Got 50s, we got you got 90s, we got you got 90s. Josephine <laughs> Baker. A little something for everybody. <laughs> now, you hosted last year. Yeah. Do you have any tips for us? Yeah. Goofs? Literally just be goofy, because that's me. I have fun. <laughs> Obviously, this event is incredible. It can be overwhelming at times. There's so much fashion and beauty around you. So I think, I mean, you're amazing at this. Just have fun. Okay. You make it easy for me. And you I can made do it that. easy I can have me. fun with Chloe. Yes. Will you guys have fun tonight, too? Thank, Thank you, so you. Much. Thank you for coming. Enjoy.
Oh, 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 want even more Met Gala <laughs> coverage, head over to Vogue.com where you can watch exclusive behind the scenes videos and vote on your favorite looks throughout the night. Please, just do that, everybody. <laughs>so I am joined now by the one and the only Dua Lipa is here with me. Now, this is your second Met Gala, correct? This is my second Met Gala, All yes. right, so talk to me what is, about what is the difference between just attending and co-chairing this year, because that is a huge responsibility. It's a big responsibility and a big honor, and I, I feel very lucky that Anna asked me to do this, to honor Carl tonight mm -hmm. um, and his legacy. And, I mean... We've got, we've got some work to do inside. Right. Um, it's going to be such uh, an exciting But it's going to be night. such an exciting, amazing experience, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I would love for you to tell me about your look and this necklace. Like, oh, this yeah. is Like, it, can we zoom in on that somehow? This is crazy. <laughs> and what waist? And what waist? <laughs> what waist? And what waist? Tell me about um, the look. So this dress is a very special dress. It's a 1992 fall uh, bride dress. Um, Chanel by Carl. Wow. Of course. And it's been on my mood boards forever. And um, when the opportunity came, I was just like, is there any way I can find this dress? And the, the patrimony at Chanel was very kind and allowed me to borrow it for tonight. That is it's, amazing. Um, it's a big dream come true for me. And can we so talk I'm about the, ne the necklace? Uh, and the necklace, this oh little thing. Oh, my goodness. Um, this is a very special Tiffany necklace. Mm -hmm. um, it hasn't been seen before, so I feel excited to get to showcase it here today. Um, and, uh, yeah, they pulled it out the vault for me. It's so gorgeous. So I'm not usually speechless, but shiny, I'm sitting shiny. here like, <laughs> wow. Well, I hope you have an incredible evening and just enjoy all the moments. You look incredible. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, Dua Lipa. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great evening. Thank you. And all you. right, of course. All right, so I am here with supermodel extraordinaire, and I uh, like to call her the Met Gala showstopper. Shut the carpet down, because you know how we do. A knock is in the building. She's what's here up, with what's me. Up, what's up? So what's going on? I am. Um, I made up the stairs. You made up the stairs. Made and up look the stairs. No, no, no. First, 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 first. You guys have to see this. Like this, this, this is different. This is that next level right here. It's tight, girl. I'm tell me, so tell in. me who you wear. I'm wearing Cabo Garang, and we were inspired by the 1993 Chanel Couture show. The look that Cindy was wearing. Wow, just amazing. And you are currently on the cover of Vogue right now. Let's talk about that. I'm on the cover of Vogue. Thank God. I mean, and I mean, we that's shot. Like the biggest bro. thing in the world. May issue. Major. May issue. Major, major, major. I'm on the cover of Vogue. We shot it in Paris um, on the Grand Palais. The, the, wow. Inside the Grand Palais. We like took it over for a little bit, but it was an amazing experience. And I'm just blessed to be here, girl. Well, you look gorgeous. Tonight's going to be fun. What are you looking forward to the most this evening? I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's outfits, I know, I to told be you honest. From up here, I can see I'm everything. like watching I'm everybody like, come on down. I can see everything down. from up here. I can see it all. It's going to be an incredible it's evening. Gonna We're going to have fun. We're going to dance. We're going to do all of that. Exactly. So I will see you inside. But I'll thank you for inside. stopping by. Love you, sis. Oh, we're up, we're oh. up. And Chloe, we got the coach crew. Wow. Hi. Designer, Stuart the Beers. Hi. Dylan, I'm sorry, Maya Penn. Yes. And this is Gabriella. How are you guys? Amazing. Great. We're yeah. stoked. Yeah. We had such a party on the way here. We were now, Brittany, yeah. karaoke, get this mic away from me. <laughs> well, I have to ask about these little purses. I'm blown away. Yes, they are so gorgeous. What do you, you want to These are super, favorite? super special. These are a part of Coachtopia, which is a circular design concept mm -hmm. that Stuart has come up with. And they have elements of recycled 
pieces of material yes. from the Met yes. from the Met. Yes, we did. literally the coach team went through the trash of the Met Museum, took plastic water bottles, yeah. tickets, mm -hmm. maps, everything you imagine. Aluminum foil, transport, foil. transport both, it's something both, incredible. Both on the gowns and the bags. I, the trash of the Met, like yes. the actual garbage? Yes. Yes. Inside the Met, outside wow. near the food You know, cart. some people say one man's trash is another man's treasure. Yeah. Yes. Or him? One man's trash is another woman's Met Gala look. This you is, actually, these the are first. like uh, ticket stubs and uh, the maps from the Met. So this 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 um, year, we wanted to do something completely different. And it was about um, creating something beautiful, creating gowns from um, from from waste. Yeah, and I incredible. see a lot of monochromatic. I assume that's a nod to Mr. Indeed, Baggerfeld. yes, yes. Yeah, that's that's our biggest nod. I mean, of course, the innovation that he explored in materials inspired our approach, but this was the most obvious Amazing. nod. Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. We can't wait to see you inside. See you inside at the bar? I Maybe. Think so, yes. Drinks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drinks. A little Britney singing. Gabrielle, everybody. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Thank you, thank guys. You, thank you. This year's exhibition honors the life and legacy of visionary designer Carl Lagerfeld. Let's take a look. I am thrilled to introduce everyone to the one and only Michael Kors. Hello, everyone. And his date for the evening, Emily Blunt. How are you guys? We're good. We're, yes. great. We're great. Now, how are you feeling? Are you one stomach flu away from your goal weight? <laughs> wish I was because I was telling Michael last night I ate a pizza almost forget because I thought well I'm like covered up so I'll be all right and then I tried to put my skinny pants on and it was, <laughs> and I, well, wish I, was. I mean tell they, us about this yeah look. it's looking Michael pretty skinny the, pant to me the man responsible for this well I think uh it was all about dichotomy tonight I think Carl loved romantic but he also loved something a little edgy and nasty. Mm. Um, and, That's me, right? and, and, isn't that Emily Blunt? That That's says right. it all, right? She's romantic and nasty. No, and I, I just love the idea of throwing it off with the overskirt, with the really narrow, skinny cigarette trousers. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, it's the night for flowers. Yes. I, I mean, mean, absolutely. Yes. And white shirts. I know. And, and white shirts. And the, white shirt, and the play. White shirt, but like a romantic version of it. Right. Nasty and romantic. Nasty and romantic. <laughs> Michael, I'm sure you knew Carl Lagerfeld. I did indeed. Your past must have crashed. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's whenever I have a day where I think to myself, I have too much to do today. I'm too busy. <laughs> um, what do I have to do next? I always kind of remember Carl, who was just this machine of creativity mm -hmm energy, humor, all of it together, mm. and, uh, and stayed curious. Yeah. You know, curiosity is the coolest thing in the world. Definitely. 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 Do you have a favorite memory of Carl? 
Oh my God, yes. Once he actually said to me, he said, you're always so tan. Why are you always so tan? And I said, look at us next to each other. Oh my God. like a ghost. Well, he said, why are you always so tan? I said, well, the minute I have a day off, I, I, I run to the sun. Do you? I always do. And he looked at me and he said, obviously I don't. Aww. So I was like, okay, I got that. Uh, but I mean, he had... He, had, he said, you're always Dad. He had such a great, great wit and, and really had such charm. And he, he was just singular. He was very like you, Michael Kors. Always wears sunglasses. Shades. A lot of shades. A lot of black and white. Good boots. Boots. Good quips. Yeah. Zingy quips. Yes, Derek, you're getting it. Chloe and I uh, saw the exhibit this morning, and you guys are going to love it. So thank oh, you wait. so much for popping in. And we can't wait. Thank you. We can't thank wait. You. Great to see you guys. Great to see you. Now I want a pizza. <laughs> we all want a pizza. Okay. So I am joined now by the fabulous, the beautiful, the gorgeous Penelope Cruz is here with me, one of the co-chairs of tonight's event. Now, Penelope, I know that you knew Carl personally, and he dressed you often over the years, and you attended so many of his shows. What does it mean to you to be here tonight and be a co-chair of the evening? A huge honor. I met Carl in 1999. I am probably one of the biggest fans of Chanel and Carl mm -hmm. in, in this world. Um, I know a lot about every single collection he ever did. Mm -hmm. So when he offered me to become an ambassador for the house and wow. start doing campaigns for him, that sometimes he was photographing. Like, mm -hmm. we, we started to spend more time together and became good friends. And I loved him so much. He was really special. So special. Now, what is your favorite look that Carl ever created for you? Wow. Um, there was... There was a, a blue um, couture dress that he changed, that he transformed for me, and then he would do the drawings and put my face, and I, I think one of those times I watched him uh, drawing, drawing me with it. the dress, mm -hmm. and that was like a, you know, like a really specific like dream come true. Mm -hmm. I don't have pictures of that moment, but it's like recorded here in my soul forever because he is such a genius. The amount of hard work, mm -hmm. That I respect him for that, you know. Right. Obviously, he was like a genius mind, but also very, very generous and very hard, hard worker. And everybody that knew him loved him. Loved him. Loved he him. treated everyone really, really kindly. And I'm so glad tonight is all about him. It's everyone all about, is so honored about to be here. So before I let you go, tell me about your look tonight, because you just shut down the whole carpet. Oh. I saw you from up here. I was like, wow, wow, Thank wow. Thank you. So this is a Chanel Couture 1988. Wow. Spring, summer. And when they told me, we're going to redo one from the patrimony, like mm. whichever one you look, whichever one you choose. And that was not easy to choose. No, I was like one not. month going back and forth, like studying every single collection that, that he ever did for Chanel. Mm -hmm. But I really well, fell in love with this. Well, you made a perfect things. choice, and you look gorgeous. Thank, thank you, you so you much thank for talking, so much. and I hope you have an incredible evening. Thank All you. Right, thank, thank you, Penelope. All right. And now let's check in with Emma Chamberlain. You guys. Oh my God, no way. There's, you are the only one who got to sneak in a baby. I know, I got a plus one. Don't, shh, don't tell anybody. No one gets a plus one to the Met. Everyone needs to know that except for you. I, you know what, it's, I'm so happy. This is the first time I'm also like sharing my news. So it's very special. Congratulations. This is so amazing. Tell me about you and baby's look. Yes, okay, so. Jonathan from Loewe, the incredible designer at Loewe, he and I kind of collaborated on this vision and it's really his blur dress from this past collection inspired yes. by the 1983 Carl Trump Loewe dress that Anna has worn many times. It's so iconic. Yep. And so we were inspired by that moment and we wanted to kind of interpret it in our own way. And so you have the blur of that dress with Jonathan's take. So I love that. Thank you. Do you have any tips for 
styling a pregnant belly? Like, what are your styling Ooh, tips girl. for that? Because I, I'm just trying to think about my future and what I'm going to do. I don't know. Well, I was pregnant last time during the pandemic, so I didn't leave my sweatpants. So this right. is the first time I'm actually on a red carpet pregnant and it's a super special moment also like kind of vulnerable i was like totally i don't know how to style a belly so this is my first time and it's, i can't imagine a more special moment so special so thank you. i'm i love you i can't wait to babysit you oh girl yes we will be anytime lots of, lots i'm free cuddles. actually i will pay because i need to <laughs> learn how to handle babies i love you don't actually give your baby to me you i love look you so gorgeous you look so Ooh, amazing i'll see you in there pay. and congratulations thank times you. a million thank you I am here with the talented, fabulous, gorgeous Gwendolyn Christie. We've been having our own little party over here. We've been having so much fun. I've been enjoying it. You gave me some advice I wish I'd had at the bottom of the <laughs> stairs. I'm going to be desperately trying to employ it through the rest of the evening. That's our secret. We don't tell everybody yeah, that. No okay. one. Now, Gwendolyn, you are such a student and fan of fashion. So what do you think of when you think of Carl? Karl Lagerfeld was and is rightfully an icon. Mm -hmm. He was a Renaissance man. He had such an interest, not only in the craft mm -hmm. of design, which was his career, but indeed of, of all elements of artistry, literature, art, history. Mm -hmm. He was such an intellectual. He was interested in literature. He was interested in philosophy. And he took the rigor of discipline that he applied to his craft into all areas Absolutely. of intellectual and emotional acumen. And I just think he was an astounding designer. And that's why he has endured for so long. And yes. I feel very very lucky to be here tonight celebrating Absolutely. him and that's why we're all honoring him tonight at such an iconic place what a great moment so tell us about your look you look gorgeous thank you so much i'm lucky enough to be wearing fendi couture wow designed by the incredible kim jones mm -hmm. and i love kim, kim jones i love kim jones and kim and i've been friends since i was 19 years old wow so it is an enduring friendship. Mm. But again, what I love about Kim is that he's so dedicated to his craft. He definitely he's is. always spontaneous and shows such innovation in what he does. But he's also working endlessly on developing an exquisite technique and discipline alongside Absolutely. the flamboyant nature of his imagination. And he's great. Absolutely. And, and a lol. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, and I hope you have an incredible evening. And I enjoyed our talk so much. I loved it so All much, right, darling. I will see you inside. Enjoy the night. All right, bye, bye darling. Bye. All right, thank you. the honor and pleasure of being joined now by Tommy and Dee Hilfiger. You guys look incredible. Tommy, I love this look. I, I, can I be so bold as to observe that this is inspired by Karl Lagerfeld? Inspired by Karl. This is Tell vintage Chanel fabric. But the shirt was given to me by Karl as a gift. Karl himself, the yes. man, the legend. A, a, a gift. And uh, I'm not sure how he was able to, to, to get dressed in an outfit like this every day, but uh, certainly had a valet because it's a, a shirt that just buttons in the back really? with, a, with a separate collar. Was this the first time D helped zip you up I tonight? Not, I did not help him get into it. I, I would have no idea what to do, but we had a whole team that helped us get put together tonight. It took a small village. We had my Tommy Hilfiger team. Uh, take inspiration from Chanel and Karl Lagerfeld and, and develop Dee's gown gloves, and her gloves. look. I love so. the pearls. This was added. You know, you have to do something a little different for the men. Yes, yes. Tommy, I'm sure you crossed paths with Karl a couple of times. Do you have any favorite Lagerfeld memories? I do. Uh, I asked Karl once how he became so successful with Chanel, and he said it was very easy. He <laughs> went back to her archive and took everything that was from her favorite collections and made them relevant for today. And that, that was very inspirational. But we became partners with him 
when we bought the Karl Lagerfeld brand in 2004. So we became very close. Um, Coley and I went and had a look at the exhibition today, and it's pretty incredible. We haven't seen it yet. Oh, cool. Well, you we're guys gonna are let going you guys to love it. it. Thank, you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Nice to see you. We'll Bye. see you guys. <laughs> Bye. Lovely. We'll see you at the bar. All right, so I'm here with Sydney Sweeney. Hi. You look absolutely stunning Thank you and so amazing. Much. And Thank we were just you. talking about how just crazy this carpet is and all the <laughs> fabulous that comes along with this. Tell us about your look tonight. I'm wearing Miu Miu. Mm -hmm. and Fits like a glove. Thank you. It feels like a glove. <laughs> you feel good, though. I do. And you look so, so good. I know Thank currently you. you're filming season three of Euphoria, which is me we and my haven't, sons. We, we haven't started yet, oh, haven't started but I'm very yet. excited because I miss all the girls. And I think Maude is here tonight, so I yes. can't wait to see her. Okay, so you haven't started yet, but... It's coming. It's coming. Definitely. It's coming. So yeah. we're all looking forward to that. I don't think anyone's Thank looking you. forward to it more than my son, but we're all really, really <laughs> looking forward Thank to you. it. So what does a night like tonight mean to you, especially honoring such an icon such as Carl? I mean, it's it's such a beautiful evening seeing everyone just appreciate and honor such incredible looks. People look absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. and it's just... It's just an honor and a privilege to be here. Absolutely. And is there anyone you're looking forward to seeing tonight? We were just talking about everybody. We're, we're Honestly, I'm just excited to just meet new people Absolutely. and have a really good night. Absolutely. Well, I hope you have an incredible night. Thank you. See you, you too. inside and have so much fun. Thank you. All right. Of course. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Get ready, fashion fans. We have two of the most fashionable people here tonight, Glenn Close and the designer, Erdem, who's responsible for this incredible creation. You Hi, guys. You really have Hi. to see this train. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yes. Now, so elegant. So elegant. Now, Glenn, I'm a huge fan. Two of your most famous films, Dangerous Liaison and Fatal Attraction, have recently been adapted to television shows. Have you watched either of them? <laughs> No. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? No. I, You're a busy I, woman. I, 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 I mean, people wonder, and I, and I just, I mean, frankly, I haven't had time. I've been here doing a lot of things while, you know, Fatal Attraction has started. I also have a very personal relationship to that material, so I'm a little bit nervous to watch it. But, um, you know, I, I, think I, I think I will because I want to know, want to know what they did and how they told the story. Dangerous Liaisons was such an incredible film because of all the costumes. Yes. Um, how is that as an actress to use style as a character? Ooh, it's everything. It's everything. I have kept all my costumes. I have a costume oh. collection of over 800 pieces that is in the uh, Indiana University because I could not say goodbye to them. They yeah. are such a part of my career and you, you, it helps you build a character. and. To, to see Erdem and be with Erdem and building this and seeing what he was creating. Um, yes, they said, what <laughs> character are you doing? And I'm thinking, maybe a kinder Madame de Mertoy. <laughs> a nicer one. And you're my young lover. Uh, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Young lover, tell us about Yes, young lover, young oh lover. Do well, tell. <laughs> um, well, it's an homage to Carl, where yes. it's, it's a, a, the amazing body of work that it that Karl Lagerfeld created. Uh, the dress, the starting point, was actually from his first uh, Chanel Couture collection. And then the cape, actually uh, inspired by the finale look from Chanel, uh, fall 1999 that Devin Aoki wore. Wow. And then, of course, the collar and the cuffs are an homage to Karl himself. So, Paris. There you go. Très chic and très French and très Carl. Well, <laughs> Thank you. We can't wait to see you guys inside. Oh. And it was lovely seeing you at the exhibit Thanks today. Thanks so much. Thank you. We're going to clear a path. We have to clear a path. Oh. <laughs> Shocks. Hey. Look at how are you? you? Margot 
Robbie. And when I say the world is so thirsty for your new Barbie movie. No, no, no. It's like it's a sensation. It's going crazy. Everyone wants to put their picture with the Barbie logo in the background. Were you surprised at all by the intensity and excitement around this? I Yeah, I have to say I was. I knew it was going to be exciting for everyone. I didn't really realize the, the kind of energy it would have behind it. And we're still... You know, we come out July 21st, so it's exactly. it's still a little while away. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed everyone's this excited everyone already. Everyone is so excited. We still have so much more to show you. Can't wait. Can't yeah. wait. Now, Margot, tell us about your look today. I'm wearing Chanel. This is actually... Gorgeous. Uh, yeah, this um, dress was worn by Cindy Crawford in 1993. Oh, wow. They remade it for me, and it's uh, obviously a Carl design, and I feel really great in it, actually. And you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. So, Margot, what does a night like tonight mean to you, honoring such an icon and a legend like Carl Lagerfeld? It's incredible. Obviously, the Met's always an exciting night, mm -hmm. but I had the great privilege of getting to know Carl to an extent. I was the last Chanel ambassador that he picked, wow. actually. Yeah, so wow. I, you know, what I, an honor. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it is an honor, and mm -hmm. I just, I'm, I'm thrilled that they're honoring him tonight because he is, he was exceptional. Absolutely. Well, I'm so glad you came to say hi. I Thank hope you, you have the most fabulous evening. You look incredible. Can I just say, too. you look incredible. <laughs> like I said, so I was already looking at pictures of you when I was in the car. I was like, Thank she you. looks amazing. Thank you so much. Thank I'll you. see you inside and okay. have a great evening. Thank you. Barbie movie coming soon, everybody. <laughs>
this look. Thank you. Well, I'm technically I am at the Cartier table tonight. Ooh. Yes, um, this I'm wearing a 1955 a Grand Du Cafe um, coffee bean necklace, which is wow. special. It's this one that Grace Kelly wore in the royal portrait. I don't think the exact, but it's from that <laughs> no, time. Let's say it's the exact. You and Grace Kelly yes. is everything. Um, and then Vivian Westwood designed my outfit, Andreas, and it's based on. Um, I met Carl when I was 13, and Carl's, my first fashion show ever was 2011 fall Chanel Haute Couture, and after the show, I he selected me to be someone to be in the Little Black Jacket book, and from that, you know, that book, he kind of styled everyone in, you know, the way that he kind of saw them and wanted to see them. And I was 13 and young, and I had a little white dress on, and he kept my dress on, and all he put on me was a daisy crown. And so I'm like, this is how Carl wants me to look, and here it is. Fresh it's as a daisy. Bridal, like Chanel Bride. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. Nothing better, right? Yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> we talked about so much royalty, Grace Kelly. The Carl, Queen, Vivian Carl. Westwood, but we the have Kaiser to Carl. talk about yes. The Great, which oh. premieres on May 12th. What can you tell us about truly one of my favorite shows? Oh my gosh, it's only in like a couple, like couple weeks, a week and a half or less. so. Yeah, 11, less. 11 days. Yeah, that's oh, great. That's right. Yeah, May 1st. Um, <laughs> <laughs> doing math on the carpet. Um, I'm so excited. It's season three, and I'm. I, it's my favorite season yet. It's like there's a lot of spoilers. There's huge twists. I, I, I want it to come out so I can just talk about what happens. But I love this show so much and it's so much fun to do and I can't wait for everyone to see it. Yes. Well, you look beautiful tonight. Well, uh, you are a vision and I can't wait you. to find you for a little drink. Yeah, what are you going to do right. with these flowers like later? Can you leave those? I'm going to throw, maybe oh. catch them. Oh, oh. Well, let's, let's do it. Yes. And you'll propose, right. right? Okay. There you go. <laughs> So the family has joined me up here. Now, I know you guys were at the bottom of the carpet, but it was important for you to stop here, mm -hmm. Kiki and Sergio, who designed both of our dresses exactly. tonight. So it was important that we linked up. The family had to link up. Now, what I did say was, if my body could look like this okay. after having a baby, then somebody out there might have a chance. Somebody might have a chance. You look gorgeous. Sergio, I'm so grateful for you designing these amazing yes, dresses for absolutely. the both of us. Kiki, let me ask you, what are you looking forward to the most here tonight? Well, it was you because I had to make sure that Sergio didn't like make you upstage me. But we both look fabulous. <laughs> we both um, I'm just I here think. to see everybody. I mean, this is going to be a fun night. It's been, this is, I didn't go to the last one, so mm -hmm. this is my second time and, and so it's good to be back and just see what it's giving, honey. How's the baby? Baby is good. He at home, Mr. Mama. I know. I know. It gets hard when you got to leave us. Yep. He was with us all day. Yep, he was with us all day. He all right. We're going to do some parties afterwards. We're going to be good. Exactly. That's what he said. He said we got to link up with you after so, to figure out what we're going to do. All right. So we're going to do something. Well, I will see you guys later. And yeah. thanks for stopping by. Love you. And thank you good so much you, for everything. Good yes. seeing you always. Love ya. Love you. All right, so here with one of my faves for sure, Usher is officially in the building, yes. fresh off the stage in Vegas, your amazing residency that everyone is talking about. Talk to me about that, Usher. How are you able to just outdo yourself time and time and time again? Well, I mean, the fans deciding to come see me in Vegas is part of it. The other half is, you know, an amazing catalog of songs. 
And then the other side is just really enjoying myself in, in Vegas and doing things that I've always wanted to do. Absolutely. Now, tonight we are honoring Carl Lagerfeld. It's a yeah. line of beauty. Talk to me about your look tonight. Well, first and foremost, designer Bianca Saunders. Yes. I put this amazing ensemble together for myself and her. I and, love that. Uh, and you look stunning and gorgeous. Yeah. What an incredible suit you put together for Usher tonight. You look great. Yeah, thank you very much. You All know, right. Uh, the idea was to honor, but also to still have a little individuality in it. You know? And you brought you brought your swag to it for you sure. Notice, baby. Exactly. You, you brought your swag doing. to it for sure. Tonight's going to be incredible. We're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm glad you came over to say hi. I'll see Absolutely. you guys inside, okay? I'll see you then. All right. Have a great evening. Thank see you, you later. All right, for sure. We are joined now by Vera Wang and Lily Collins with these incredible trains. You can scroll down. Yeah, they do some clever positioning. Yes, can you, you see have to see the Carl. Can we get There's it in the camera? Action. Not quite. Here we have Carl. There we are. There we go. <laughs> Vera, you famously knew Carl. Can you tell us a little bit about what these outfits that you designed resemble? I think they're absolutely both obviously homages to him and it's enormous talent. And I think while we very much want to respect all the work he did everywhere, at Chanel, at Chloe, at Fendi, it was really a moment for us, for Lily and I, to translate our own version of how perhaps we could wear Carl um, with respect and joy and privilege to be here for him tonight. Amazing. Now, it is very French tonight, and I have felt like you <laughs> on the carpet trying to pronounce pato. Mama, oh my God. <laughs> Guillaume, <laughs> um, do you have any advice for the? I think you're killing it. I think you know what I think it is. It's about the commitment. Right. It's yes. the commitment to whatever you think it is, and then you just sell it. You just sell it. That's what I think you have to do. And and you're sell. I mean, you're totally selling okay. it. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna tell them. <laughs> okay. Tonight before as bed. Say Choupette. Choupette. Yes. <laughs> Choupette is all the. <laughs> What well, are you guys excited to see tonight in the exhibit? We've already seen it. We'd like to see the exhibit. I know, that's why oh. I'm dying to see it. I know. I like see it. Yes. We well, get in there, guys. Get in Thanks there. Thanks for saying hi. see you guys. We'll see you inside. Merci. Merci. <laughs> Merci. Oh, look, you're already on. Oh, you're oh, we're doing it. it. We're doing it. <laughs> All right, Miss Wang. Thank you, guys. I am here with someone who needs no introduction whatsoever. Doja Cat has officially stepped into the wow. Met Ball. You are here. All right, tell us about head to toe. I want to know everything. This is Oscar de la Renta. Mm -hmm. And then my friend Melina did my prosthetics. Unbelievable. I got Sasha Livingston on the nails. And, um, yeah, I'm very, very excited, and I love it. So you told me this is your first Met Ball. We talked about first that. Met. So how does it feel? Like, are you nervous? Is it crazy? Because the first one is, is hectic. It's really not bad. Okay. You're I, right. Normally, it's kind of bad. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I feel nice. I feel relaxed here. I like the, I don't know, maybe it's the beige. I feel very calm. You're, you're and, in a good place. Yeah, it's like very nice. All right. So Doja, Organized. tell me on a night like tonight, what is something that you're really, really looking forward to? I don't know because they don't tell you what's going to no, happen. You don't have any information. So I have no idea. <laughs> right, right. But I do hope to, you know, have some good conversation. Absolutely. See some you cool know. people. Yeah. Have some fun. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you came over Thank to say you. hi. I just want to say you look absolutely stunning. Thank and I love so how you are always you, no matter what. And Thank you know you. I support you through and Thank through. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. You. See you inside and have a great See you time. Okay. Meow. Meow. <laughs> wondered what it's like to work at Vogue or wanted to hear career advice directly from Anna Wintour and Edward Ennenfell, you can do just that with Vogue Club, Vogue's new global membership. Join today at VogueClub.com and get up close and personal with Vogue editors and an array of leading fashion industry insiders.
here with the stunning Rachel Brosnahan, and I'm so happy. We're both wearing Sergio Hudson today, and we were just saying Me how too. incredible he is, and the looks are so different yeah. and so fabulous. Tell me about your look. Sergio had sent through some uh, inspiration images from a Chloe show in the 90s. Okay. A lot of black mesh, mm -hmm. a lot of embracing the nipple. And so uh, <laughs> so here we are. Absolutely. Well, you look fabulous. Thank you so, very Rachel, much. tell me what does a night like tonight mean to you, especially honoring such a legend and an icon as Carl? I mean, th this is the kind of stuff you dream about right. having the opportunity to attend. Mm -hmm. And it it's the only event that I've ever been to that is quite literally about wearable art. It's Absolutely. about honoring the art of design. And then we get to walk through the exhibit. I mean, Which it's, is so, it's so special. And get to yeah. look around at, at See you know, everyone. all these incredible looks. Faces. I've just been like all night long. Absolutely. Well, you're in for a fabulous evening. Thank you. And I thank you for stopping by. And you look absolutely gorgeous. You too. Thank, thank you. you for thank you, Rachel. Hi. Of course. It is a great honor of mine to be joined by, with Anne Hathaway, I'm at a loss of words and I'm drunk in your presence. <laughs> you look stunning and you recently became the face of Versace. How do you guys work together on these looks? Oh, you're giving me too much credit. I just do what Donatella tells me to do very gratefully, very gratefully. She sent me a sketch for this and I just went, well, all right. <laughs> Uh, but I do have to say, I work with an amazing team. Uh, my stylist, Erin Wall, she, she always puts everything together. So it's really her that does the collaboration. I'm just a lucky girl. I'm seeing a lot of Carl homages here. There's yes. the tweed. Yes. I see a camellia, like on my yes. lapel, but also a little nod to Versace and the safety pins. And I, yeah, absolutely. And I have to give a shout out to my hairstylist, Orlando Pita. He brought a camellia uh, oh. from a Versace show in the 90s. Can we get that? So this this is the first time we've seen a vintage piece hair piece. Vintage hair piece. We've seen some vintage right, Chanel pieces, one. but not a lot of vintage hair pieces. Yeah. Leave it to Anne Hathaway. <laughs> well, Orlando Peter, definitely. And the two of you together. That casual icon. Yeah, yes. But uh, but yeah, I think it's kind of this. It was meant to be sort of a marriage between Versace and Chanel. The rings I'm noticing. Yeah, these little things. They're just a couple of them. <laughs> little things. They're my wonderful, <laughs> wonderful friends and family at Bulgari. They're beautiful. And when you came into the shot here, you said that there's a certain way that you can pose in this dress. <laughs> yes, I did. You're going to make me say it right now, aren't you? Yes, I want to know. I want to know, right. what, how I does this dress honest. make you I feel? I to be honest. It's very hard not to laugh next to Chloe. <laughs> well, I'm going to copy you. <laughs> but, here we go. but there's just something about this dress that makes you kind of want to hit it. You just kind of want to hit it. Get a little Rosalia going on in your head and just live in the fantasy. <laughs> how, did I do it right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, I'll just leave, guys. Great, no, great. Come back, Thanks, come back. Well, thank you so much, and we look forward to we'll seeing you in there. Have so much fun. Mwah. Derek, I love you. We'll see you, you inside. Mwah. I love see you, you inside. Too. Here with someone I love very much, Yara Shahidi is here with me. You Hi. look gorgeous. I was Thank like, you. wow. Okay, first, let's talk about this look because this, 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 this is it. Thank you so much. You look it's gorgeous. Gautier. Half of it is archive from 2008. Wow. And the rest is custom, but it was an ode to my favorite haute couture, Chanel 93. Wow, and you pulled this off fabulously. Thank you look you. so incredible. Now, people are so excited. You're playing <laughs> Tinkerbell in the new yes. Peter Pan and Wendy movie. So tell me, how do you approach such a well known character and then um. make it your own? <laughs> well, I think that's even the task of the Met, right? Mm -hmm. You get a theme and you try and make it your own. Quite honestly, I think it was trying to figure out what this movie asked of Tinkerbell, first mm -hmm. and foremost, um, which was already really fun, but a lot of fun references. Last year, I was here as an ode to Josephine Baker, and funny enough, in this movie, I watched a lot of her performances oh, wow. to look at how people like her are using their facial expressions to communicate so much mm -hmm. when you say so little. <laughs> That's incredible, and everyone is looking forward to that. So what are Thank you looking you. forward to here tonight, honoring such an <laughs> icon and a legend like Carl? What are you looking forward to the most tonight? Well, the Chanel House and Carl were the first 
fashion house to really bring me in mm -hmm. at 16, I believe. Wow, 16 The first years shows old. I ever went to, mm -hmm. my first experiences, and I think my general appreciation for fashion comes from that experience, and it comes from how welcoming they are, and being able to see fashion as art, and so I think that really kicked off my entire journey, so it's beautiful to be able to be here. Absolutely. Well, I yeah. hope you have an incredible evening. Thank you. I'll see Go you have inside. some fun. See you inside. You thank look gorgeous. Thank you. All right, thank for you, sure. Thank you. You have made it to fashion heaven. Coming to you from my hometown, New York City, I'm Ice Spice. And I selected some of my favorites from legendary designers like Karl Lagerfeld just for you. eBay is the place to get the most authentic, pre-loved vintage and rare authenticity guaranteed pieces. Everyone deserves a timeless piece. Everyone deserves real. Get yours from my iconic designers collection only on eBay. Joining us now is the beautiful Devin Aoki and Jeremy Scott. You guys look unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Thank so you. much. Chloe. You have to tell us about these Lukes. Well, um, you know, I wanted to honor Carl, and I was doing black and white because I was thinking about his color palette is often restrained in black and white. Yeah. And um, the last time Devin and Carl and I were together was after my last show in Paris when I originally lived there, yeah. and she wore a winged leather piece, a bustier in the show and so I wanted to take a nod of mine with Carl and then of course I have my shared muse Devin Aoki with <laughs> Carl. It's so great to, to have Carl back in the conversation. He passed yeah. away in 2019. I know you both were close friends and collaborators with him. Do you have any fabulous Carl memories? Well I have a great story. It might be a little long-winded for this but <laughs> I'll try to do it quickly. Um, you know when I used to model for Chanel, they're one of the only brands that would make you your shoe size. And I have a very small foot. What size is your shoe size? I have Devin a size Aoki. six. So it's pretty tiny. And you know, the sample size is always for models much bigger, you know, size nine, size 10. Anyway, um, after the show, Virginie and Carl would say, okay, take your shoes because no one else is ever going to wear these. So you can keep them. And so I took the shoes, thought nothing of it, and a few months later we were going to show the same collection in Japan. Well, I got to Japan, and of course I had taken the shoes, and they didn't have the, sh the <laughs> shoes anymore. So I had to wear these big, you know, size 9, 10 shoes. And there were a lot of steps. It was a runway with almost all steps. And I just turned to Carl and I said, oh my God, there's so many steps. And he said, oh my God, get rid of those shoes. Being, being barefoot is chic. I was a bride barefoot. Wow. Um, in the couture, and it just shows he was so he was so sweet, and he, always he was, made it work that lager fell. You know, he really did, and it, he was um, so good to me. So that was a fun story that I always think about. Chloe and I checked out the exhibit this morning, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm sure you, you're in some of the pictures. Yes, There's you are. Dresses, I I'm know. Sure I know. I'm so excited! I can't wait for you guys to see it and have the most magical night. Thank you so much. Here's Thanks for stopping by, guys. Paris, Thank New you. York. Yeah. We're in Paris, New York right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Here with the legendary Carla Bruni. Now, you were the first lady of France, and Carl was such an icon of France. Can you tell us about your relationship with Carl? Yes, I had a very long-lasting time relationship with Carl because it started when I was a young model, mm -hmm. and it ended... Um, you know, just a few months before he left us wow. at his last show, we became friends. I started, be I became a songwriter and he came to all my concerts wow. without even telling me, just buying tickets and coming. And then when I married my husband, he was president of France. Mm -hmm. So then he keep, you know, my, my husband gave him an honorific decoration. Wow. And so we had plenty of dinners and a good time together as he would send me clothes. 
you know, to I wear in official occasions. Right, right. And so we remained friends for about 30 years. Mm -hmm. And Carla, how does it feel to just see everyone honoring him tonight? You personally knowing him and having such a relationship, I know that has to be an incredible feeling. It feels moving, uh, almost overwhelming. Wow. And uh, I can feel his soul uh, around us mm -hmm. here. And, uh, you know, Carl didn't really believe in death. He would always say, death doesn't exist. Wow. You just go, the person just goes in another room. And it could come, the person could come back any minute. So that's how I feel tonight. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for thank stopping you very by. Much. You look gorgeous, and thank, thank you. you for talking to us. Thank you so All much. All right, Carla, have a great time. You too. All right, thank you. Bye. I am so excited to introduce the most pearl-ficked guest <laughs> at the Met Gala, oh, Kim Kardashian. Yes? I love that. You're always one of the most talked about people here on the Met Gala red carpet. Mm -hmm. Do you feel pressure to outdo yourself every year? What's your process? I did, but this year I just wanted to feel glamorous. I really didn't feel the pressure. I just wanted to have a good time. I took a shot before I came with my <laughs> sisters. My daughter was in the room with me. She's actually in the car watching us, you know, all walk up the red carpet. So it was just like a glamorous night. Now, I have a silly question. <laughs> what was it like meeting the famous Choupette? <laughs> um, a little scary. You know, it takes a little while to warm up to, uh, to her. She wrote me a sweet note and left it in my room. Um, we spent some time together before this. Kim, do you, Kim actually, you, you sent me a video of you and Shupet having a little bit of a cat fight. Ooh. Did you guys kiss and make up? We did. That's okay. the pictures that I showed of us in the bedroom, yes. laying on the bed. I think she was intimidated by all the people. So, yes. yeah, we had a love fest. And, and most importantly, tell us about what you're wearing tonight. Who, yes. who, did, who designed this? This is Daniel for Scaparelli. And, um, you know, I wanted pearls. I thought, what is more Carl? You know, the iconic Chanel pearls is what I always thought of. So we wanted to just be dripping in, in pearls. All the way down, if you can see this. Mother, mother of, she's mothering. She's, uh, we're trying to be Gen Z. We're, we're trying to. We're trying and failing this. Some kids. popped on the way, and I told my daughter to grab them all. They're real pearls, and she was putting them all in her purse. Are they real pearls? They are. All right. Well, then I think I'm gonna follow you around all night too. Yeah. If you need me to pick up a pearl, I'm. I'm When's I'm Mother's girl. Day? Chloe and I are gonna make some pearl necklaces for our mother out of the remnants of your met look. Well, thank you so much, and we can't wait to see you inside. You have a long walk up that carpet, and I'm thinking you're taking small steps. <laughs> Fabulous Billy Eilish, just having our own little private combo over here, having a great time. You look gorgeous, Billy. Tell me about your look, and I'm going to tell you right now, the black hair is it. Eee, like, it's thanks, it, baby. for sure. Um, I'm wearing Simone Rocha, wow. who is just one of my favorites in the world, and she mm. does not, like, custom make anything, and I was just like, please. please. <laughs> you batted your yeah, eyes like that. I did, I did. I did, but yeah. And you look incredible. So, Billy, talk about tonight. This is honoring Karl Lagerfeld, an icon, a legend, and so many people are just, you know, bringing their interpretation of Karl and his designs. What does a night like, night, like tonight mean for you? I mean, it means a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm just, every time I'm invited at all, it's just an honor <laughs> to me. And yes. I, I have a good time. I go in there and I... I have, have good, fun. I have good stories afterwards, I'll say that. Absolutely. I really absolutely. do. I'm sure you do too, girl. Yeah, well, we're in for a night of fun for sure. You made it through the hard part. I did. How, how intimidating are the steps, Billy? Because people ask that all the time. I feel like they're not too bad. They're not that bad. I feel like not, I'm not going to die. Okay, so you made it through. I made it. Now it's time to have fun. It's time. See you inside. I love you. All Take right, care. love you too, Billy. All right. <laughs> See you inside.
Oh, Salma Hayek looks amazing. Are you guys ready? We are joined by <laughs> Priyanka yes. Chopra Jonas. Nick Jonas, no more small talk. We're live. We're on Vogue.com. How are you guys? Wow, I was really enjoying everyone's. Oh, thanks, babe. Aww. I was just uh, enjoying watching everyone's take on this year's Met Gala. People look amazing. Yes. Everyone's turned out so well. It's awesome. Joe I Ball came as a furry. That's, <laughs> that's great. You didn't see that coming, did you? Salma Hayek looks fire. So did Kim. It's awesome. This whole look is unbelievable. I'm like oh, blinded by this necklace you're wearing. It's stunning. I know. It's a beautiful, bespoke, bulgari piece. Wow. And that's 11.6 carats or something. A lot of carrots. Know. A lot of carrots. Part. I like a lot of carrots <laughs> in my vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did Carl inspire your guys' looks tonight? I think the black and white is a classic Carl look. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to play with a few of the jewels as well. Obviously, you saw this. Yes. I've got a few of my own. Oh, oh, sure. Less exciting. Jewel. We love oh, a jewel. Nick, do you remember we had dinner with Carl Lagerfeld? I remember. Do you re that was in the Paris. first time we met. Like seven, eight years ago. Yeah, big night. Yeah. Big night for me. Big night. Carl Lagerfeld and Nick Jonas. I mean, what are your memories of Carl? Uh, lovely. I mean, it was a beautiful night and wonderful celebration of him at that time. And nice to be able to do that tonight as well. I'll say. <laughs> Um, Chloe and I went to see the exhibit tonight, and yeah, there I'm is so excited. We can't wait seven decades of Carl fabulous fashion extravaganza. And an opening dress with a snake like your ties. You're uh, very, oh, you, you are theme. on theme, Nick Jonas. Always on theme, Nick Jonas. <laughs> 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 it's incredible. Uh, um, yeah, it's so exciting. Like Viola Davis looking amazing oh as ever. Oh my God. Um, yeah, we're wearing Valentino. Oh, wow. We we're with the Valentinos. Yes. What an honor. Well, thank you guys so much, and we can't wait to thank see you guys inside. See you inside. See you guys inside. See you guys inside. Thanks, Vogue. Thanks, Vogue. All right, so I am with the fashion killer himself. Russell Westbrook is here. Now, now Russ, you've yep. worn a lot of iconic outfits. Yeah. You've had a lot of iconic moments. And then the Met Ball comes, and we're honoring Carl Lagerfeld yeah. tonight. So. What do you do in, in, in that type of atmosphere? <laughs> what do you do? How do you put it together? You know, I think you, uh, you start with history. You know, tonight, uh, I'm wearing Bodie tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, they was able to give me some pants that uh, I know Carl was big into interior designing. And, right. Uh, they got some pants from a hotel that was a part of a, uh, some lining. It was the only piece of the pants that made it. So I want to give a, a nod to him, obviously, with the pearls here as well. Absolutely. Uh, but I'm just excited to be here and, you know, happy to be a part of it. And for someone who's so into fashion, like honoring an icon and a legend like Carl, what does that mean for you? I uh, mean, it's, it's an honor. Um, it's just a blessing me to be a part, a part, be a part of something like this. And uh, me such a uh, such a inspirational and fashion for myself and so many people. So I'm happy to be here. Absolutely. And you shut it down like you always do. I appreciate do. it. Thank, Thank you for coming to say hi. Thank you. I appreciate All right. It. Have a good evening. All right. Hi, we're back with Viola Davis and Julius. Lovely to meet you guys. Thanks for coming tonight. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Your Great most recent you. film, Air, has been a huge hit. Yes. Mm -hmm. You play Jordan's mother, who yeah. until, <laughs> until now has been the unrecognized force behind the biggest endorsement deal in the history of sports and maybe even fashion. How did you approach that role? Oh, I approach the role like I approach every role where I just have to study the subject. Dolores Jordan, incredible woman you know, and, and pray, <laughs> pray that it works. <laughs> uh, Priyanka was just here and she said you're both wearing Valentino yes. tonight. Wearing Valentino. Tell us about this look. He, they wanted to dress me for the Met Ball and I had a couple of different choices and I love the color. That Valentino oh, pink, goodness. right? And I love the feathers. I'm trying to yeah. do my microphone, but I cannot touch the feather. I want to put my eyes right above the feather. I know. I was asking about, how are you going to eat tonight? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. And the earrings are smiling. The earrings are boucheron. Uh-huh. And all the jewelry is. It's beautiful. And, um, yeah, I feel a little bit like a princess. Or queen, here for. Or an empress. <laughs> Whatever you want to choose. Mm -hmm. Did you ever meet Carl yourself? I've never met Carl. It's like two different worlds, sort of. I know some people really are meshed into the fashion world, even though they're actors. 
not us so much. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, we know of Carl. We know of his legendary yeah. work, and yes. you know, and and his philanthropy. And I mean, he was just a great guy. Yeah. He yeah. really was a great guy. So. Yeah. Well, he had a pretty distinctive look too. Yes. He did have a distinctive look. Um, Chloe and I checked out the exhibit this morning, yes. and it's pretty incredible. I Seven hear it's years. amazing. It's this game. Wow. chills and tears. <laughs> oh wow, that's great. Well, you're Looking done with us, so now you can go check yeah. out the show. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Thank so you much guys so much. Thank you. Fans of you guys. Unbelievable. Even from the back? Thank Woo. you so much. <laughs> So I'm here with what I like to call the dream team. We have Caitlin, <laughs> Vanessa, and Leah hanging out all together. Each one of you ladies look absolutely stunning. It's such my co-host from last year. Yes, we are. I miss you this year. I, I know miss I miss you. You, you look so stunning. Thank you. And so do you Thank three. You. Amazing. Leah, you said you had a story. I'm putting you on the spot. So I needed to tell you that I live in your house. Whoa. <laughs> when you moved out, I live in your house now. I get tons of packages it, for you every day. In my Alec house? No, here in New York. Oh, my goodness <laughs> gracious. No, I get well. tons of packages for you all the time. I promise I don't open okay. anything. <laughs> okay. In case I, you're missing anything, okay, but I, I trust, might have it. I trust them but with it's you. Good. Yes, I Isn't love it. That, well, She's that place well. has great energy, so oh, good, it's good. 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 Okay, it's so good. It really it's good stuff. So. so talk to me about tonight. What does Carl Lagerfeld, a line of beauty, mean to you guys tonight? I mean, you can really feel his energy tonight mm -hmm. in everyone's gowns, and this is my first time at the Met. Oh, so it's your first Met? My very, very first Met. Okay. So it's very exciting to be here. Absolutely. It's yeah. so exciting. Not too overwhelmed? Not at all. I'm here She's with my got pals. Good girls around I here. do. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Now, Vanessa, you're back not as a yes. host but as a guest no. this year. Yes. So you put all the work on me. That's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Sorry. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. It's really nice to be able to just like come and hang out. You know, we're here with Michael Kors, and he's just like the ultimate party starter. He's the best. And I feel like everyone looks amazing. So it's nice. It's nice to be out with the girls. It absolutely is. And Leah, what does a night like tonight mean to you? It's my night off from work. There you go. <laughs> I told my son that I was at a wedding tonight for my friends Anna and Carl. Oh, there you go. And <laughs> so I'm, I love being here. Like Vanessa said, it's such a great group of girls mm -hmm. that Michael put together. I've been a fan of Michael for so many years, and it's an honor to be here at the Met wearing these exquisite dresses. And it's a fun night. And you all, like I said, just look stunning. Please have thank the best you. time tonight, oh, and thanks will. for coming by to thank say hi. Thank you so much. Thank all right, you. all right, for sure. As fun as it is talking to these gorgeous guests, don't forget, we also want to hear from you, our viewers watching live around the world. So make sure you're getting in on the conversation by using the hashtag MetGala on social media. We'll be checking in throughout the night and featuring our favorite comments and questions right here. So I'm here with Brittany Grenner and oh, Chanel right. Griner. We are here at the Met. I was so happy when I saw you both covered up the steps. I was like, yes, this is incredible. <laughs> what is this moment like for you? Uh, it means everything, just to be here with my wife and just able to be here. Um, it means so much. Uh, get to see this event a lot and actually live it. It's amazing. It's one of those things you watch and you're like, one day I'll get to be there. One oh, day I'll get to go. Sherelle, how are you feeling? I mean, it's surreal still, you know, I mean, this time last year I was missing my wife. So right. to have her right here, to be in this moment, 
breathtaking. Absolutely, Brittany. We are so happy that you are here with us tonight. It is such a moment. Thank you so much. I want to hear a little bit about your looks tonight. Oh, yes. Calvin Klein has styled the thing myself with that. and my beautiful wife, and they have done an amazing job. I mean, they, we are, it is dripping off of us right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's dripping off of you. I like that. It's dripping off of you guys. And on a night like tonight, honoring Carl Lagerfeld, a, a line of beauty, it's so many different interpretations of Carl mm -hmm. and everything. What are you guys most looking forward to tonight? I mean, just honoring him. He was an icon in the industry, head of so many houses. Um, I mean, when you think of fashion, you cannot not think of him. So just being here, celebrating his life and what he's done for the industry and uh, just enjoying it. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we are so happy that you were both were able to join us. Life is good right now. Yes, Life is, is great right yes, now. And I definitely just want to say, um, oh, I wanted to make sure, ooh, ooh, I don't want to forget about this. Can you tell us about the Bring Them Home campaign? Yes. Um, you know, I was able to come home and, you know, bring, bring, bring home our families. Um, they were big for us. Mm -hmm. They did everything, mm -hmm. um, supporting my family, supporting my wife. Um, and it's a lot of hard work um, doing this. And there's a lot of families that don't get the availability right. that, you know, I have with media. So, mm -hmm. you know, every day just being there, just being a voice for those families so they're not feeling left behind or forgotten at all. Absolutely. Brittany Griner, Jarrell Griner, I am so happy to see you. Let's do a group hug. Yes, I'm just happy yes, to have yes, you here. Yes, yes. This is good. Go inside, have the best time. You both deserve it. Have an incredible evening. Oh, and thank you. thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much. All right. See you guys. All right. Wow, look at these three lovely ladies. We have Stella McCartney, Madeline Klein, and Audrey S Slut Slutburn. Slutburn. Wow. Slutburn to you. Um, wow. Well, I'll take it. Yeah. And uh, now, tell us about this look. It's a look. It's a look. <laughs> and that's about it. And that's it. And this, this is... Um, uh, this is Stella McCartney. <laughs> oh. Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? That's right. Sustainable Stella That's McCartney. Great, great. Now, Stella, you took over from Carl Lagerfeld. Are you not taking this seriously? I am. I think he's very serious. No, I, I'll be more serious. Okay, we can jump in. I did. Oh my fashion. God, don't do that. Do that. No, no, okay. It's, this is, okay. That was good because I did. Well, no, because my name is Chloe, and you <laughs> took over from Carl Lagerfeld at Chloe in 1997. How did you work with his legacy at the house? You know my favorite moment about that, and it's when I felt that I truly arrived, is when Carl found out that I had taken over as successor to the brand. His quote was, I knew they would take a big name, in fa in a big name when I left the brand, but I thought it would be a big name in fashion, not in music. <gasps> so good, though. A king of the one-liners. So burn, one burn, 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 burn. I was like, oh, Carl Lagerfeld knows who I am. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, Audrey, is this an alter ego of yours? Who explained to me Audrey slut? She just likes to have a good time, does the right thing, says the right thing at all times. Cheerio. And Madeline, you look lovely. And it's just Madeline, right? Not Madeline. Great. Great. Well, I guess we'll see you three inside. Yeah, we, we stick together. We stick together this as we it. do. The good news is that you have the best Met Gala tour guide. Stella McCartney is always the, the ringleader of the good times here at this event. <laughs> All right. I hope I see you again. All right. Get out of there, you guys. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ciao. Ciao. It was lovely to meet Thanks. you, and we'll never see you again. Christina Ricci is here. Hi. We're having a great conversation. You look stunning. Thank Christina, you. tell me, how do you prepare for a night like tonight? Well, I went and got some insane facial with, like, microcurrents and stuff to reattach my to face to my skull, I to which try that. worked. It looks so it good. seems to have worked. It looks so, so good. Stuck on now, my uh, face. Absolutely. <laughs> tell us about your look. I'm wearing Fendi by Kim Jones. Love Kim Jones. Yeah, I know. I love Kim. He's one of my closest friends. And um, 
It's inspired by Carl's time at Fendi and how he experimented with fabrics and the reworking of fabrics. Right. And so, yeah. I think we're all in for an incredible evening. Yeah. I'm hearing the exhibition is unbelievable. I'm so excited so to see it. So go us. and enjoy yourself. Thank and you. Thank you so much for stopping by. So nice to see you. All right. Always, Christina. Yeah. Always a pleasure with you. you. Have a great for night. Sure. Of course. Guess what? It's time for our first fan comments of the night. Chloe, take it away. Oh, away. boy. Silver Fire says, Watching the Met Gala is one of my favorite traditions. I absolutely love seeing all the beautiful outfits. Whoa, Liz Lemon? Liz Lemon? Do you think that's the actual Liz Lemon, or is that like a fan account? We'll, I, we'll come back oh, to yeah. But she says, Chloe Feynman, one of the hosts of the Met Gala, Slay Mama. <laughs> Slay Mama. Are we allowed to say Slay Mama? I think so. Okay. All right. At Leah Ferraria says, manifesting a lot of vintage and archive Chanel for today's Met Gala. That's, please keep your questions and comments coming, and we'll check in again later in the evening. Shout out to the watch party happening right now in my hometown of St. Louis, Missouri. Oh. Yeah, I got some hometown You're heroes. They threw their own Met Gala after party. Oh, Maybe this amazing. will become a thing. Yes, and when we, we want get that fired, to be a thing. we will come to those. Yes, please we'll invite us next year. to St. Louis. <laughs> It's couples night tonight. We have Nicola, Brooklyn, Rena, Alexis. We are all here. This is this is couples night tonight. And we have a special guest here with us right now. Do, do we want to talk about our special guest, Rena? I don't know. You okay, I think me. we I think I think we should. I think we should. I think we should. Okay, and our new addition. There's there's three of us here. There yes. are three. Three, three. three. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> Rena! The secret's out. The secret's out. Congratulations. Thank How you. you feeling? I'm good. I'm feeling good now. Yeah. Feel good? Yeah, I can feel breathe. pretty good. Yeah, I can breathe. I can stop. Well, you look gorgeous. Not hiding, but yeah. Look, unbelievable. <laughs> look we're nice. both just like, no, I'm so I, happy. We're, we're, like, we're locals. We're, we're semi-neighbors. Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah. That's what it says. Couples <laughs> night. It's just hanging out. <laughs> Tell me about your look. You look absolutely, you're, you never disappoint. No, you look you're absolutely so sweet. incredible. You don't either. Thank you. Valentino. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Brooklyn. Yes. You know you're a fashion killer. You shut it down. Tell me about your look. <laughs> uh, Valentino. Absolutely. Just it. Rena? We're holding it down for Gucci. Sure. Okay. Both All right. of us are, yeah. Proudly love... representing. Absolutely. Yeah. And everyone looks gorgeous. Tonight is such an incredible night. It's Carl Lagerfeld, Alana Beauty. We're honoring such an icon. What does that mean to each one of, of you guys? We're so excited to be yeah. here. He it's... is such a legend. Honestly, I'm so excited to see everyone interpret his legacy that he left behind and, and do it in their own way. And I'm so excited to see the exhibition. Absolutely. Rena, you are amazing when it comes to fashion. You do you never disappoint on a red carpet. So what does a night like tonight mean for you to honor such an icon like Carl? Well, yeah, I mean, Carl never disappointed with his design. So we're both just so happy to be here and, um, you know, to get inside and <laughs> not drink. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, I'll, I'll be I'll be partaking. For both I'll help you out. I'll help yeah. you out. I'll help you out. Well, thank you all for stopping thank by Couples much. Night. Love you all very very much. I'll see you, you inside. Okay, all right, bye. bye everybody. All right. Go ahead.
So a little while ago, we asked you for your favorite Chanel runway design, and you chose brrr, Supermarket Circa 2014. Supermarket Circa 2014 was pretty iconic and legendary, so I see why you chose that. And now the Met Gala has seen countless memorable looks over the years, but which is your all-time favorite? Sarah Jessica Parker and Alexander McQueen in 2006, Rihanna and Guao Pei in 2015, Chadwick Boseman and Versace in 2018, or Lady Gaga and Brandon Maxwell in 2019? Head to at Vogue Magazine on Twitter to cast your vote. Excited to see who you vote for. Cara Delevingne is here. I'm so excited to see you. I met Cara you, as a Andy. wee teenager, and I watched her grow into being a ultimate Karl Lagerfeld muse. It's a yeah. big night tonight. It is a big night, yeah. A lot of emotions, honestly. I cried on the way here a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of like, it's a wonderful thing to be able to do this and um, honor such an incredible person, not only in fashion, but personally as a friend. I owe him so much, and it's, um, it's, an, amazing, it's an amazing way to remember him, yeah. I imagine your look tonight is inspired by Carl himself. Can you walk me through yeah. it? So this is like his iconic white shirts um, and a, a lot of chrome hearts jewelry. Uh, this is by Carl Lagerfeld. It, it just felt right. Um, but yeah, the gloves, everything, all the pieces that kind of make me. Yeah, and just some kind of silvery, silvery blue hair. And you came in in sunglasses. I, think I you did, yeah. I know. I'm going to wear those in the, on the carpet. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Whip them off. Was it ever, yeah. this is the dumbest question, but I'm so sorry I have to ask it. Double down on it. Cara Carl, was that ever hard or confusing? Cara Carl. Cara Carl. Cara Carl. Cara Carl. Um, no, people just call me Carla by the end. Oh, Carla. Yeah. That's what yeah. I would do, too. Carla. One of my favorite Cara Delevingne moments in the world of Chanel was the supermarket show. Yeah, my favorite. Do you remember <laughs> Rihanna yeah, was, was so pushing you fun. around in a shopping cart? I was pushing her around. Oh, ex excuse me. Don't Thank you it. for fact-checking me. We <laughs> oh, like no, she was pushing. I think she was pushing the we, we, No, we were both in it. Joan was pushing Joan us around. Joan Smalls was you pushing go. you around. And I'm yeah. sure the internet will correct all of I stole so... Um, can I say that? I stole <laughs> so much from that supermarket. They had like a, a Chanel chainsaw. Anyway, I don't steal things. <laughs> yeah, I have it. Well, that's my favorite supermarket experience. Thanks, um, do you have a favorite Chanel memory? Um, there were so many. I think doing a show in Edinburgh. We went to Japan. Uh, we went all around the world. Uh, but honestly, his... He's like looking into the future. He really like did so many things. We did this amazing women's march. And I think also this one, you know, one of his last shows that we did. And it was like at this ski chalet and like all the girls were all crying and holding hands. And it just felt like such a moment. But he is one of those people that no matter where he is, he's always there. You may see him on the carpet tonight. Ooh. I hope so. A little bit Deep in thoughts with Cara well. Yeah. But like he lives on. Look at look everything. Like he's um, he's influenced so much, not only in fashion. So. We well, are going to love the exhibit tonight. Yes. It's all Carl all the time, and, and I'm happy to see you. Lovely yeah. to be with you, Carla. Thanks, guys. Nice to see you. Carla. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. I will get back to what I do best. I don't know what that is. And I'll <laughs> have these mics. Let's take a look inside this year's exhibition, Karl Lagerfeld, A Line of Beauty, which opens to the public on May 5th. What always struck me the most about Karl was that he always wanted to be relevant and he never wanted to look back. I think he did look back. I think he was actually 
deeply nostalgic. He would never admit it, and he always wanted to look forwards, and, and he absolutely always had the finger on the pulse and always was looking at the zeitgeist. I think that what kept him so relevant was his curiosity, his intelligence, but also open-mindedness. He would take inspiration from anywhere, from a green sweater in the street, or you know, from art, or from film, or from literature. He wasn't a snob. Well, he was a snob. He was a democratic snob. And I think that's what kept him abreast of things, because he was so passionate and so interested. He was, had this magnanimous spirit. So the Dream Team has officially arrived and slayed this carpet like no other. Kendall is here, Kylie's here, my best friend Kim is here, shutting it down. Tell me how you're feeling tonight. I feel amazing. I'm so happy to be here for Carl and just for the theme and for the Met. I'm so happy. I'm wearing Marc Jacobs. I am wearing Hyder, JPG, Hyder Ackerman. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I am wearing Scaparelli. So Kim, tell me, what is a night like tonight honoring someone like Carl mean to you? To me, it's like super emotional just mm -hmm. because I obviously love my sisters. I love my family. And seeing Kendall really started her beginning of her modeling yeah. career with Carl and yeah. was the bride in so many of his shows. Mm -hmm. And I would just sit and watch them. And I mean, my first fashion shoot ever, Carl shot it. Um, so it's so special. Okay, so Kendall, talk about that, just starting your career with Carl and then now being here honoring him tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Like Kim said, I think it's a little emotional, and um, I, I really I owe a lot to him and what he did for me, and it was such a pivotal point in my career for me. I, I started working with him when I was really young and really new, and he really embraced me, so I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to celebrate him, and it's awesome. And Kylie, on a night like tonight, what are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to making more memories with my sisters, of seeing course. all the fashion. <laughs> I'm just here Having for a, a good drink time. With my best friend. There Maybe a little yes. tequila, 818. Exactly. Oh, I like I like how you look. I like how you did that. I like how you did that. Well, I'm blessed I, to be here. Blessed to be here. Well, I hope you guys have an incredible night. We're in for some fun we drinking are. and dancing. Now everybody could breathe yeah, and go exactly. have a good time. No. Right. Exactly. We'll see you inside. This is the last stop. That is the most fun. stressful part of the night. Yes, and now everything we can go is have done. Some fun inside. Go have yes. a good time. All right. Want to stay up to date on the latest fashion news? Check out Vogue's weekly podcast, The Run Through. It features interviews with designers, stylists, Vogue editors, style icons, and celebrities from Hailey Bieber to Serena Williams. And new episodes are available every Thursday wherever you get your podcasts. You know, I start Wait, to feel this tired. is fun because like I was on your show and now you're kind of on my show. And now I'm on your show. And here's, you know, Matthew Williams. This is Emma. Oh, Emma Matthew. This is the, the designer of Givenchy. And, and he made my look tonight. Do you want to stand right here? Yes, okay. stand here. Okay. I'm, we're hosting this together now. It's no, an interview like, of Matthew. You're way more comfortable than me with these mics. It's okay. We'll do it. And then I'll just tell you when you're we. You're so good at this. The way you're swaying. <laughs> oh my God. You're too good. I honestly, you, everyone, I have so many like possible co-hosts out here you're really in the running thank you okay so tell me about this look well yeah this is a, a look that we we made inspired by some of Carl's favorite things so the drapes are inspired by fans which is something that he really loved and uh, orchids which is one of his favorite flowers but um, yeah Carl was always looking forward and not so nostalgic so he wanted to to make something new and also that you know spoke to the the craftsmanship of the atelier of Givenchy Amazing. I know. It, it, I think that the magic of tonight is sort of blending like Carl with an individual and blending Carl with other incredible brands. And it's just, I don't know, it's a magical night. Yeah, well, I think, I, I also think that Carl would have loved this feather floral embroidery situation. And I think that th that's what's so fun about like doing Next in Fashion. And I feel like this is like the like intense version of like yes. that is really like getting designers to think outside the box mm -hmm. in a way that like really has nothing to do with like what they're going to sell that year and you know their brand directly mm -hmm. but it's so fun to see everyone's interpretation of something just to do it to create something that's I, what I love about totally. it totally uh, speaking of next in fashion do you feel like that changed your fashion philosophy at all like did that 
sort of like, I don't know, expand your mind in some way, that experience in um, hosting that show? Or do you feel like it just further solidified? Both. I, I think I think that although it further solidified what I, you know, wanted to push on that show, which is just to like be yourself and be unafraid to like go for it and try something new. Um, they also like were really inspiring and I think that all of them brought something so new and fresh to the table and like how they even came in as themselves was inspiring you know absolutely. aside from the designs absolutely you guys look amazing the hottest date thanks the hottest date we're gonna have fun I know you guys are gonna, are you, we're gonna have once fun. we get up those when stairs we get in there I know this is like the scary part do you get nervous? I think the scary part's the drive okay you think yeah. this is scary this yeah, because there's, we're just kind of, you're standing up and swaying as we turn, make oh, turns. And, and I'm like, like, can I sit down? And he's like, and he's like trying to be nice. I'm like, you can say no. Cause you know, it like, I it, know it starts to, we don't, we can't steam this in the line. So, I know. you know, he was, it's like, but the car ride over is fun too. It was fun though. It was funny. Yeah. Like wait, like until once you're at the top of the steps, it's the best night ever. But like every step before those steps, you're just, you're a mess. Like I'm a mess. I'm a mess. And then I get through it, and I'm like, I'm free. I'm free. I yeah, can't wait to be free up there together. I also do like to look yeah, around. Just a straight line. Yeah, but it's also stressful. Just kind of like your out. art and your life. <laughs> There's, listen, we're all, we're all feeling it. Let's yeah. just say that. It's time. It's time. To get up the stairs. Go do it, babe. Cheers. 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 And I'll take it. are here oh with two people who just officially shut down the carpet. Yeah, it's hot out Carisha, there. Young Miami is here. Puff, aka Love, aka yes, Diddy, yes, we are yes. in the building. Yes. All right, come on. Let's talk about what it feels like to just walk up here and just shut the whole carpet down. I mean, it feels great. You know, we out here giving that black excellence. This is Sean John's debut. Wow. Wow. First time I designed in, in 10 years, and, you know, we feeling good. How you feeling, Carisha? I'm feeling great. This is your first Met, Met Gala. Mm -hmm. What does that feel like? It feels like a dream come true. We were talking a lot in FaceTime and getting you ready for today. <laughs> so now that you've, you've done it, you made it up the stairs, can you it just feel like, okay, I can finally breathe now? I'm like, okay, you got through it. It was, it was, it was good. It was perfect. It was everything. And you you were perfect. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Stunning. Amazing. Incredible. All right, so I have, I, have, I have the million-dollar question right now. You ready for it? The million-dollar question is, so do y'all officially go together real bad? I, I'm asking. I want to know. She gonna answer that. <laughs> she got you. That you not answering that. No, no, I'm answering. Of course, uh, uh, real uh, bad. Uh, we uh, here. All right, we're real here, bad. Here, real bad. It's, it's official. Real it's bad. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, I don't know what you're asking. Exactly. <laughs> we definitely go together real bad. Oh, from, well, well, we, then yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. Then that's what it she's, is. She's my date for the night. She's. Yeah. she's you know, it's just a good date yeah. night. We, we, oh, we, it's a date night. Date night. Date night. We don't put titles on it. Everybody wants us to put a title on. We don't put titles on it. This is like my best friend in the world. One of the most beautiful people God has blessed me to Absolutely. meet. Absolutely. And I'm blessed that she's my date tonight. Absolutely. Can I get like a little napkin for my my forehead? Damn, I'm sorry. And by the way, maybe I on to something. No titles might be it. Yeah, no for titles. For sure. No, no titles, titles might be it. That might be it. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. So last this question. Cape is hot. Last question, Puff. Tonight, <laughs> we're honoring Carl Lagerfeld. 
a line of beauty. Tell me what that means to you to honor such an icon um, like Carl Lagerfeld. I got a chance to spend time with Carl, you mm -hmm. know, when um, I was designing Sean John, just as a fellow designer, mm -hmm. and, and, and he was so, he was so creative and he had so much attention to detail. Some? Yeah, you get Thank some you. of that. Thank you want some baby girl? <laughs> Thank you. No, no, his, so atten his, his attention to detail and his attention to beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just hot, baby. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> this, this is what I'm wearing, the Sean John cape. Nah, this cape is crazy. Like, the look, detail on this cape is crazy. Cape. Shout out to June Ambrose. Wow. You know, the first this Sean John collection, so it's a little hot. So I'd rather you ask Carisha some questions so I could go get my cape fixed <laughs> and I could get all this sweat off of me because I'm hot. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christian, Somebody before you guys go inside, what are you looking forward to the most tonight? Just fashion to see what everybody got on. It's just, see how good, yeah, I want to see how good everybody look. Well, y'all go in there and have an amazing time. I'll see you inside. Can't wait to party and drink. You Love to you. The party tonight? You are that, what kind of question is it, that? It, the it, only it, party I'm coming to. Make sure everybody that. knows if they can't dance or they don't want to dance, don't come. don't come to my party. Don't please. come. Don't come. You heard it here first. I don't come. Sean John is back, baby. Right. Let, me, let me figure out my cape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that cape is fine. Thank you, baby. Okay. See, we got the flowers. Have you ever dreamed about walking the runways of Paris and modeling in the pages of Vogue? Well, guess what? This is your chance. Open Casting is Vogue's new global initiative to find models that embody a modern ideal of beauty. Make sure you apply now. What an amazing opportunity. For people who want to get into modeling. Honestly, confidence is key. Be nice to everyone. From a business standpoint, you never know who that person might be. You have to definitely know yourself. It's just all about being yourself. I think there's so many different spaces for models to exist. Channel how you would actually feel in that moment and express it. If you have the thoughts, the face reacts. Fill yourself up with experiences and knowledge and really study the world that you're entering. If you want to be a model, join Vogue. Join Vogue. Join Vogue. Join Vogue's open casting right now. All right, so we are joined now by 20-time Grand Slam champion and Met Gala co-chair, the spectacular Mr. Roger Federer, who's been keeping me company. We've been nice having our own <laughs> little thing going over here. It is so nice to see you. So tell me this. What is your favorite thing about your life since retiring from professional tennis? It's, uh, it's good to be home. It's nice to have a more of a solid life, right. not being on the road and packing, unpacking. Mm -hmm. But um, I love that life, too. So, of course, I miss parts of it. But just being home with the children, having... Uh, uh, a schedule where I can meet friends on a Wednesday, other people right. on a Friday, right. do, uh, do family social trips, life. social life, having yeah. family trips on a weekend, mm -hmm. having some really nice vacations as well. And life's still fun. It's still very busy. I'm surprised, actually, how much is going on. Yes, and we were talking about how many Met Galas you've been to. So what's the count? How many Met Galas have you This is only my to? second. This is your second one. So do you have a favorite memory of the Met Gala? Yeah, I mean, when I came here 
Um, I believe it was in 2017. Okay. It's been so. It's a while back. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, and it's been a lot of fun. I didn't know what to expect. So this time, I feel like I kind of know how it's gonna run. You, being you know the, the flow. I know the flow, <laughs> and being a co-chair this year obviously makes me very happy. You know, being here with Anna and helping out the Metropolitan Museum and the Costume Institute. So it's Absolutely. great fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I hope you have an incredible evening. Thank you Thank for you keeping so me much. company. Absolutely. We had great conversation. Have a nice Thank you, Roger. I'll see you soon. All right. See you. I am here with Mark Jacobs himself and Paris Hilton are officially in the building. Thanks so much for stopping by to chat for a little while. So Paris, I'm going to start with you. This is your first Met Ball. How does it feel to be at your first Met Ball? I just feel so excited to be here with the legend, Mark Jacobs. I just did his campaign and it was so wow. incredible. And I'm just loving the dress that he made for me tonight. The dress is absolutely stunning. Mark, tell us about this dress. Well, this dress, I say, you know, like, I believe in collaborate. Do you want me to hold this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, you know, um, collaboration of a sort. So it was like a thing. First of all, to dress Paris Hilton is like, mm -hmm. how the fuck do you, oh, sorry. How do you do that, right? So right. I thought, like, well, maybe it would be interesting and exciting to see her in a black gown, you mm -hmm. know, because it's not typical for Paris. So we approached her with the idea, and then we added the idea of leather, and she was all game and everything, and then she had some comments, like, I need a little sparkle, and could you make this fabric here? Right. And we worked together and made it happen, and she looks fantastic. Absolutely. Nailed it. Nailed, Nailed it. it. Absolutely Nailed fantastic. So, so, Mark, I'm going to say you are one of fashion's most respected people, and I know you have an incredible amount of respect for other designers. So how do you think about this tonight, honoring Carl and his legacy? Well, Carl, I mean, I've looked up to Carl. Carl's been a hero of mine since I was 17 years old and looking at Chloe collections. And um, Carl's been a hero of mine, and he's also been a great supporter of mine. And I think what I find so exciting always about Carl's work and what he does is that he was, like, to me, the true fashion designer. Like, there were no limits. It was about unbridled creativity, but always with elegance and sophistication Absolutely. and tongue-in-cheek, but, but always just in the sort of most loose and cool, like sort of smart, classy way. Absolutely. Now, Paris, I know you tweeted a picture of you and Carl. Tell us about that. Carl and I hung out in Paris a couple times, and he was just such an inspiration to me always, and we had so much fun and just so many memories. I've always just looked up to him in so many ways. Absolutely. And I love that we're honoring him tonight. Absolutely. You both did an incredible job. Have the best time. Have fun. The hard part's over. Now you can go and have a good time. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Mark. Thank, thank you, you, Paris. Thank All you. right. Thank you so much. Let's see if we can get that exhibition in. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Earlier, we asked, what was your all-time favorite Met Gala look? And you chose... Bum -ba -da -bum. Rihanna Guope. Ooh. Look at this. This is also, I think, the dawn of the Met Gala meme moment. Yes. Do you remember this dress was everywhere and every different type of variation? Yes. It was an omelet. It, it was, was, it was this. everything. It was, and a train. I feel like we have a lot of trains Rihanna tonight. Rihanna does not disappoint. No, she never does. And we love hearing what you guys think, so keep the conversation going on social media with hashtag MetGala. Here joined by Baz Luhrmann, who I just love so much. I don't, I don't fan of over a lot of people, but you are definitely one. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. No. Tell us about tonight. How are you feeling tonight? It's really, you know, what? Well, a year ago today, myself and actually Ultimation, who's Ultimate? up next, we were here yeah, yeah, celebrating yeah, yeah. Elvis. 
And today, I interviewed you at the I same spot. That. Yes. And like today, we're celebrating Carl, who was a. I worked with him 20 years ago. We were mm -hmm. great friends. And when you see the exhibition inside, you will understand the true genius of the man. I mean, it's hard to believe a single person made that much beauty. So that's what tonight is a great show. There's going to be a really surprising uh, thing happening inside. I might know a little bit about it. Oh, it sounds um, like you know something. Not just a little bit, but I will tell you, it's all about that exhibition. I encourage young people to get out and see that exhibition. Absolutely. Now, Baz, before you go, tell us about your look. Uh, actually, Tom Brown did Carl Oh, I love that. Uh, I love that. This is Tom Brown. This is Carl Lagerfeld by Tom Brown or Tom Brown by Carl Lagerfeld. These are posed by Pas Pally, an amazing wow. and uh, Basilic uh, uh, jewelry, so uh, London designer. Well, one thing about you, you always know how to put it together and shut it down. Thanks <laughs> for coming to say hi. I want to say one thing. I'm really honored to be here, but bringing on Alton Mason. Yes, thank the you, Alton, Alton Mason. Mason. How hi, are you? baby. How are you doing, baby? How are you? I'm doing good. good yes. to see oh, you. you got that? I'm okay. Good. Thank you. Good thank to see you, you Buzz. <laughs> thank you. So, Alton, yes. tell, me, tell me about this look. It's so, incredible. You know, my biggest memory with Carl. I got the blessing to meet Carl in person, was doing Chanel, being coming the first black man to that walk with such Chanel. such an honor and something such to be so honor. proud of. So this is a very full circle moment for mm -hmm. me. My team asked me, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. And when I think of the Grand Dois moment, I think of the Chanel bride. And so here we are. And no one has done it better. No one has done Thank it better. Thank you, baby. I love you so much. You look You amazing. look incredible. We got to celebrate when you get inside. Absolutely. We will celebrate. Thanks Let's for coming it. by. All right. All right see you in a few. Yep. All right, we, we got. Hi, sweetie. How are you? <laughs> Hi, baby. You good? Hi, baby. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yes, I haven't seen myself on TV. Well, you look so good. You, you, you liking it? You liking it? I, I kind of do. You look incredible. All right, Jennifer, tell, tell us about the look. You look incredible. Thank you, because you're you you doing so good. It's always so good to see you. Shut down, shut down, like okay. every single time. Tell Thank us about you. the look. Thank you. Uh, it's Ralph Lauren. Wow, uh, wow. I'm very excited. I wasn't sure about the hat, but now I'm kind of feeling no, it. No, no, the hat is it. The hat is it. <laughs> so, yeah, having fun tonight. And Jennifer, tell me about a night like tonight. We're yeah. honoring Carl. I know. It's a line of beauty. What does that mean to you? When you hear that, when you feel that, what does that mean to you? Um, you know, I hate throwing around the word iconic. I've said mm -hmm. this before because everybody uses it so much. Mm -hmm. That's just like the word to use. Right. But he actually was such an iconic figure in fashion and when you think of like the last 50 years you think like a, if you think of five people in fashion he's one of them Absolutely. and he, what he did uh with chanel and for so long and keeping that brand so fresh and young and alive mm -hmm. and you know it, it's he, he really was a genius and uh it, it's it's amazing to be here tonight I, I got to meet him and for a little girl like I, I, we say from the bronx right. who like kind of aspired to the fashion world and mm -hmm. to be an entertainer to meet people like that was always such a dream to me so it's 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 a real honor to be here to to celebrate him tonight and Absolutely. celebrate his legacy in fashion yes. and you've been to a lot of met galas a lot of met yeah. balls so what do you look what do you look forward to like what i do you look, look forward, forward to? to um seeing everybody mm. you know it's like it's, it's a nice congregation of right. like fashion and film and music and Absolutely. you know that's my world those are my yeah. worlds and so it's, it's always a lot of fun well i'm so glad you stopped over to say thank hi. you have the thank best you. time thank you so see much you inside, good to okay? see you inside all yes, right always good to see you the hat's perfect the look is perfect <laughs> see you the yes keep the hat. <laughs> i don't know Vogue's weekly podcast, The Run Through, will be dropping a special episode tomorrow starring me, yours truly. I'll be discussing all things Carl and spilling the tea about everything you won't see from inside tonight's event. 
New episodes of The Run Through are released every Thursday and can be found wherever you get your podcasts. But tomorrow's Tuesday's episode is a special edition. One of my absolute faves has officially hit the carpet. Erica Badu is here, everyone. You peace, just peace, look, peace, over peace. here, over here, you just look amazing. You just look <laughs> stunning. Can you tell me about this look, Erica? Tell, tell me what we got going on here today. Well, today I am joining Francesco mm -hmm. Riso, who is the creative director of Marnie. Wow. And we went together last year as well. And we're together this year because we've been hanging out quite a bit because we just... Uh, dropped our clothing line you know I did see line, that yes right. I did see that and mm -hmm. it looks incredible and this yeah. outfit is so incredible Thank Erica you. we are honoring Carl Lagerfeld tonight the line of beauty talk to me about what that means to you Carl Lagerfeld the black and white of things mm -hmm. is what Carl means to us in fashion um, the daring oh, I'm sorry darling okay. the okay. daring or not too daring mm -hmm. It's one or the other. Absolutely. And that's what Carl represents to us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. happy you're here. I just love you so much. And your daughter's <laughs> here. Your she daughter's is. here for her first yeah. Met. Puma, Puma, come, come, in, come through. Room. Come in, babe. You look cool. I want everybody to see how gorgeous Thank you look. You. How are you? I'm doing great. You this look is... absolutely gorgeous. Puma, tell us about your look. Um, well, my look, you know, it just, to me, it just gives excellence Ex I don't know how to describe it excellence expensive but I think a way stop I think a way that it also pays tribute to Carl is mm -hmm. by the detail and the amount of work it takes to put into a garment oh sorry mm -hmm. the amount of work it takes to put into a garment and you know I think that that's kind of how we pay tribute to him because he's so detail oriented. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now your mom's been to a lot of Met Balls, but this is oh, your yeah. first one. So how does yes. it feel to be at your first Met Gala? Well, it's a little nerve wracking. I know, right? Those steps, lie. the carpet, the everything. Steps. Girl, mm -hmm. I had a little workout because this thing is <laughs> heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, but you know, I just feel a lot of love here. Of course. Really good energy. Yes. I feel great about and tonight. And you made it to the top. Now I you get made to, it, Now girl. you get to go in and just have a good time. Absolutely. I'm ready to eat. I, that's the same. Same, same. I'm ready Erica, to eat. Erica, you know how much I love you. I love, love you, same. love you, love you. Yeah. Puma, have the best time great tonight. All right, you, thank you. Thank you, sis. Of course. Thank you. Let's take another look at the making of this year's exhibition. The candlestick dress is from Carl's own label from autumn, winter, 1985. And it falls within a line called the satirical line. And it looks at how Carl would transfer his wit and irony and humor into clothes through almost surrealistic embroideries. This particular one was inspired by a candlestick. It was almost as if when he placed the candlestick on the body, it became a sort of substitute of the woman. So when she walked and animated the candlestick, it almost looked like an animated cartoon, a bit like Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast.
All right, so I'm here with my sis. My family has arrived. Tiana Taylor is here on the hey, carpet. Girl. I mean, sexy, <laughs> fire, swagged out. I don't even know what Thank else to say. You. Tell me about this amazing look by Tom Brown. Yes, I'm in Tom Brown from head to toe. Um, inspired by Carl Lagerfeld, you know, his classic look, the tie. Absolutely, you did it. The little ponytail in the back. Get into that. Get in, <laughs> you know, the Chanel tweed. Get in. Get in. The classic Carl shade. Get, Get in. in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just suited and booted. Every, yeah. Every, 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 yo, the body is bodying and doing everything Thank else. You. So, Tiana, you have been to tons of red carpets. You've been to so many events. What does a red carpet like the Met Gala mean to you, especially honoring Carl Lagerfeld? Oh, my God. I, it, it, I know it feels big when I got a potty. And it was just like, I did so good the whole 35 minutes. I was minutes. watching I was you. Waiting. I was watching you. As soon as I got my ass on that carpet, my bladder said, hey, girl. I said, <laughs> not now. Oh, not now. Not so, now. yeah, but I mean, that means it's, it's good, though. I always, always got a potty when I'm nervous. So, well, I, you know, I was a little bit nervous. And I want to talk about your performance in 1001. And like, Thank you. I watch it so many times. I watch it on the plane. I watch it in the theater. I watch it over and over and over. Tell me what you did to embody that character the way you did. It was it was show stopping for sure. Thank you so much, sis. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it was a lot of layering and a lot of color coordinating of the layering. I you know, Inez. Yes, yeah, she has a lot of layers with her. Um, so we had to color coordinate it, and it was like a, a good shorthand for being on set, because you know how it go. We yep. film out of order, so of course. one day, you know, she's yeah, getting that taxi, get right, yeah, the right. next day, yeah. she getting married, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, I think color coordinating and layering Inez was, you know, made the process really amazing, and it was really therapeutic. Absolutely. I think there's some big awards in, in your future Thank for that, you. for sure. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming no by. Problem. We're going to party tonight. We're going to have fun. And yes, for your anchor voice. <laughs> You know, I do My many things. You know, you know, I do many things. Period. But I love, I love the voice. The voice, <laughs> the voice is voice. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I will love see you inside. inside. Love you. Mwah. See you inside. All right, babe. We've got more comments from our viewers watching online. At Ocean underscore Nessie says, the theme of this year's Met Gala is so good. At Elham Mohammed says, Nicole Kidman wearing the original dress from her Chanel campaign. Uh, like you wish you could be her. Full body chills. Make sure you keep the conversation on social media going with hashtag Met Gala. The theme's amazing. Tweet about it.
Oh, now we vamp? Oh. I think we're vamping right now. Okay. Wow. What <laughs> a night. I have two words. Oh, prrr, a lot oh, of cats. Wow. <laughs> Well, well played. Well punned. Hey, well, I'm looking at Cardi B, and I had to, and it was bad, but I said it anyway. It's been nearly two and a half hours, and my dogs are barking. <laughs> Get, oh. Get it? Great. Now, yeah. let's let's break down the cat. Doja Cat was a cat. Lil Nas X was a cat, and I'm told, full body makeup by none other than Pat McGrath Cat. Really? Pat Mc, cat McGrath. Pat McCat. Pat McGrath. It's cat. Like, guys. We and then Jared Leto literally was the cat. He was a huge pussy. A he was <laughs> dressed in a full body yes, costume. Yes, he was. Yes, yes. Pussy cat he was. I got to say, um, beyond the cat and the cat puns, which, yes, which, which we, we could do for hours. killing more cat puns God. than a cunnel. Kennel? Kennel. Kennel. A kennel? Yeah. Never too late for a kennel joke. The other <laughs> big theme tonight, I think... I, I have really liked is all the black and white, the monochrome that yes, was obviously yes. the way Carl dressed reminds me a bit of Truman Capote's black and white ball. Everything. Oh, is yes, yes. We go back in time. Yes. And the pearls, the, all the pearls were beautiful. The mother of pearls. Is everyone still watching? Is everyone gorging on all the black and white looks? Gorging the on the cats? Gorgina looks. Even I have my little cat here. Yeah. 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 Meow. 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 I, cute of you. Yes. Oh, oh here we God. go. Nicole <laughs> Catman. Just kidding. Oh. Penelope Meow Cruz. Right. No. No. <laughs> I know we should no, stop. Okay. But the fashion was really unbelievable. And we're not drunk. We're completely sober as we're talking down these believe looks. It, believe it believe or not. Believe it or not. Well, we have more content for you. Don't go. Don't go. Chloe, no. what are we about to see? We are about to see. More from inside the making of this year's <laughs> exhibition, Carl Hagerfeld, A Line of Beauty. Which, which opens, opens to, to the, the public. The per The perblic. Perblic on May 5th. Well, this is the conservation lab in the Costume Institute, and we're responsible for the care and any repair of the garments. This hem has all been restitched, but we still want the other piece to cover the damaged tool in the front. Okay. So um, we need to check that that's ready to go. For this show, since many of the objects are loans from outside, we unpack them and do a very thorough examination of them to make sure that they're safe to exhibit. I think that should work pretty well. Where's the camera? Where I gotta look at? Look, you're right here. Hi guys. Look, look, you can see everything good. Okay. This one? Look straight to this one? Oh, this one. Oh, right here. You look beautiful. You look sexy. All right, so I'm here with none other than Cardi B, who just killed the red carpet. Thank completely, you. Completely killed the Thank red carpet. Thank you. Cardi, tell me about your look tonight, because this is oh, intricate. This is so beautiful. Tell me about your look. Thank you. Well, it's from a designer called Ching Peng. Mm -hmm. This is my second look of the night. And um, it's given a little bit of everything. Like, if you see, like, the texture of this skirt, it's given, like, a Chanel boy bag. Absolutely. And then it got the flowers, the camellia flower. That, like, you know, when you get a Chanel purse, it always got the white flower. <laughs> right. But, you know, this one is black. Right. And then up top here is giving Carl. So I'm representing the house of Chanel and Carl at the same time. I like how you broke yes. that down and mm -hmm. I like how you yes. did that. Now you've been to a couple Met Galas at yeah. this point. What makes tonight so special? 
Uh, what makes tonight so special? You know what it is too. That it's like, um, it's like a designer that like we're so like we're so like we know so much, mm -hmm. we know so well. And then it's just like I was curious to see how people are gonna rock his design right, because right. everybody got like their own interpretation, their, their own interpretation of how things are supposed to look tonight. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. I really like the looks for tonight. People killed it. So Cardi at the Met Gala, what is something that you look forward to the most? The carpet. The carpet, yeah. right? So now you can breathe. You made yeah. it all the way up. This I is the last oh my stop. God, I hope I passed the test, honey. Because once you get on Instagram, that's when you know you passed the test. That's, what, that's when you know. That's when you know you passed yeah. the test. Go have a good time. Thank you. You look always, beautiful. Oh, yeah, we got to talk. Thank you. Yes, we do. Thank you, baby. Okay. Oh, all right. I almost broke my ass. You good? Thank you. All right. So yeah. the carpet is winding down. It is. It is. This was kind of our first date, Chloe. How, it really was. How did it go? It was our prom. It was our prom. It was a magical night for both of us. Yes, yes. Yes. Now, as somebody who's constantly on her phone, I noticed that you posted about the times that you knew Carl. And oh, yes. He, and he had a little nickname for Mr. Derek. What was it? I mean... I loved Carl Lagerfeld for all the reasons we heard tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, he could do 10 jobs at once. But the puns. This guy mm. was a pun wizard. I'm a pun fan. Mm. He used a to pizzard. call He I called me to. Bo Derek. Ooh. But like not Bo Derek with the braids and the swimsuit. Bo Derek, the French word for Bo. Bo Derek. Bo. Which means, and I pronounce that Bo. <laughs> Bo. Bo. Bo Derek. If nothing else, we've learned tonight that Chloe Feynman's <laughs> French is Chloe. perfect. Chloe. Chloe. But speaking of yes. you impersonating people that you're not, <laughs> uh, did you find any uh, new impersonations this evening? Anyone that Ooh. you'd like to do? You know, I, I do. When I was talking to Anne Hathaway, I was like, that's a good one. Do you want to tease the little Annie or no? Well, I mean, I, just in the way she, just the posing. Right. You know, fashion's kind of cool because you get to see a new side of how to do an impression, it, which is like how they are on the carpet. That was sort of my in on Nicole Kidman was the way, you know, she poses. I got to be honest. Yes. There have been some people who've come into the fashion swirl. Ooh, the swirl. Which I've worked in for uh, over two decades, longer than I'd like to admit sometimes. And they sometimes describe coming to fashion events as an SNL skit. Uh -huh. There's so much drama over the hat and uh -huh, the hair. Uh -huh. I mean, little little secret we're going to share. We had Cardi B in here, but she was worried <laughs> yes. that if she did the video first, it would rob her or would cannibalize right. her red carpet debut. The reveal. And she didn't want to she didn't want to ruin, ruin her reveal. Right. She needed the drama. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> I'm not allowed to do that, guy. <laughs> Not the impression we're going to learn tonight. No, no, no. But the drama, the the, the drama. Luke's, the trains. There's always like eight people. I want. That's my new job that I want. Is which part? To, just to like be. I wanted to do that to Kara, but I I didn't want to be bad. Right. You right. didn't want to pick her. Train. I wa I was going to try and pick her train and kind you would of like to be a fluffer. She's Megan. This yeah. She's Megan the stallion, and I'm. Oh right! Yeah. Oh, oh, I know a oh. missed opportunity. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Gosh, is it ever? One thing I loved about tonight was reliving all these incredible Carl memories. Yes. I've worked in fashion long enough to really respect his craft. He's a legend. Yes. And I'm very excited about the exhibit. Yes. Carl Lagerfeld, A Line of Beauty, is open to the public May 5th to July 16th. Let's take yet another peek inside the exhibition. Paper was Carl's favorite material. This white garment was from Chanel's Haute Couture 2009 collection, which was an outer paper. And you see the paper quality and the sort of crispness of the shoulders, the crispness of the A-line skirt and the inverted V in the pleat. And it's entirely embroidered with tiny paillettes and seed beads that took 700 hours to embroider by Lesage. 
and the garment itself is a dress and a bolero and it took about 340 hours so in total it was over a thousand hours to complete it real tour de force of the haute couture and shows the incredible skilled craftsmanship of the petit man workshops what do we say i don't know yep it's began at Fendi in 1965, and this particular coat from Fendi is inspired by Sonia Delaunay's simultaneous paintings, which was all about colour and geometric shapes and rhythmic patterns, and it's a remarkable achievement. Each square, each circle, each rectangle has been pieced and laid into the garment, and it's lined with silk that mirrors the same pattern as the fur, so it, it sort of has this ambiguity between the inside and the outside. So, uh, Chloe Feynman. Yes, Derek, Bo Derek Blasberg. How are you hanging in there? Well, I'll be honest, I'm in my flip flops. Can we can we pan down can we pan, and show well, I'm in my, my Ritz Carlton slippers. The, um, can we can we show where Chloe is this <laughs> evening? This is her vibe. She's officially transitioned yeah. to slippers. You know, it's still chic. I'm in my corset, the heels, I was losing circulation, but you know. There's just so much glamour. Chloe had to had to <laughs> Take a little break. Hey, I think, Lala, can you hear us? Are you there? She can't hear nope. us. Well, we are waiting for our biggest star of the night. Yes, we are. Who do you think it is? I think I know who it is. I think you know who it is. Okay, it rhymes with, just kidding. She, they, he. Oh, sh the sh he. He. he or she, she, or they, they, have made us wait before. Yes. So that's the only clue you have so far. Yes. But. But you know we we can. We'll just hang. see how it goes. Maybe yeah. we'll have other clues as the night goes on. I'll say. Uh, Chloe, quick question: Who yes. is the best dressed for you this evening? You know, I saw her from a distance, and I really, I just want to see Penelope Cruz up close. Yes. I thought that was like. Ooh. I Margot Nicole Robbie, good. Nicole. Mar Margot Robbie, yeah, of course. Yes. She looked fab. Yeah. She always looks fab. Always. Michaela Cole's dress looked beautiful. Yes. Ooh. I like bedazzling. Can you tell? Oh, wait. I, I'm, I think I'm, I, I'm getting uh, uh, oh. a feeling that maybe Lala can hear us. Lala, are you there? I hear you. I hear you. Hi, guys. Hi. Lala, Hi, what's, what's going on? How's it going down are? there? It's hanging. You're good. You're good. good. You're good. Hi. So the night has been amazing. Just an amazing night. Everything, I thought it would be times 100. This carpet, everyone who came and gave their interpretation of Karl Lagerfeld, a line of beauty, is just so incredible. I'm excited to see the exhibit inside. I'm excited to see who we're waiting for. We're here for a reason, a reason that everyone wants to stay put and stay tuned because there's a big Surprise. One thing about the Met Gala, there's always a surprise. There's always a big surprise. So definitely don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss it. It's an amazing night that's about to get even 
better. That's all I can say. But yes, tonight has been amazing and I'm honored. I've been having such a great time and thank you to everyone who's tuned in and watched us and saw all the incredible looks and we talked to so many incredible people. It's just been amazing all the way around for sure. So now it's just the waiting game. We're just waiting to see what happens next. I'm excited for you guys because I know what it is, but you don't. So you got to stay tuned for sure. Every year, Raul Avella and his team create the most spectacular centerpiece for the Metropolitan Museum's Grand Hall. Cameras aren't technically allowed inside the event, but we've got a special sneak peek at the making of this year's installation, and it's just for you. Check it out.
So I call, I, I, I said the word dream team a couple times tonight, but this right here is the real dream team. We're back together. This is the real dream team. Now, I've done this before. Yeah. This is you guys' first time. Tell me, tell, tell me the experience. How you feeling? I know your feet hurt. My feet hurt, but you survive. Yes. We'll do anything you, for fashion. You push through. You push through. You have to. And Derek, what are we doing right now, Lala? We are pushing through for fashion. <laughs> <laughs> we are waiting for a big surprise. What's great about the Met Ball is that there's always an incredible surprise. You never know what's going to happen. So mm -hmm. clearly, we're here for a reason, a special reason. A but very special reason. you got to stay tuned to, uh, it does to feel find like out. The Super Bowl of fashion. It the is East the Coast Super Bowl. Oscars, the most important night mm -hmm. in style. And my life. <laughs> so t tell me, being that this is the first time you guys have done this, what was your favorite part of the night? Mm, I like Lizzo's outfit. I love Lizzo's outfit. I like Lizzo's that Serena outfit. announced I know. her second I baby like, on the, the way secret tonight. Is out. I love that. I How love nice that. to be the baby. You know, you're going to tell all your friends the, one day. Yeah, that, uh, that was me, right? I there. made my right. debut yeah. at, at the, the Met, Met Gala. Gala. Wow. Not bad. That is not bad. It's a high bar. Getting to talk to the designers was so mm. fascinating, and the theme is unbelievable. Yeah. For sure. There was this, you know, we have Anne Hathaway and Emily Blunt here tonight. Yes. So I had a certain Devil Wears Prada nostalgic yes. moment. Chloe made a good joke. Yes. Lala, what was your favorite moment? So, so many moments just seeing, you know, friends and seeing everyone, their interpretations of, you know, the theme and just all the amazing things people had to say about Carl yeah. and who he was as a person and his yeah. legacy. I was really touched by that. Everyone had so many incredible stories and things like that. But the fashion was on point. Tonight, Ooh. I was like, damn, everybody looking real good <laughs> yes, tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the cats. And the, oh, the cats. The little the cats. The cats. The cats. <laughs> Doja Cat was incredible Doja with her Cat prosthetic Cat. that she I know. did. What was I that thought, like talking to her? Oh, it was awesome. But she, she it looked incredible but she oh, was wow. like she was like she she talked clear she she can make it through and she was this is her first met as well and she really? was having such an incredible night and there was another cat jumping around Jared down there Leto. Jared, yeah, Jared Leto, Leto was a yep. cat mm -hmm. Lil Nas X, X yes. was a cat was a cat yeah so cat cats cat, were, look you're, cat. you're right on theme you're Raining right on cats, theme yeah exactly I actually didn't think cats would could become a I bigger deal. Either. Like they, yeah. they already have their place in the I know. meme sphere. I know. She on had, the internet, on she Instagram. She was honored just as much as Carl in a way. Absolutely. She we have, we have some comments on Twitter. Let's see what's going on. So Rita Zago says, "My first time watching the Met. I can't live, and everyone is so on theme. I love it. I can't wait to see more of the fits." Wow. Uh, Monet Alex says, "The girls are doing really well with the theme this year. This has to be some sort of record." Wow. At Cupid Lily says, this year's Met Gala is honestly my favorite theme, and I love it so much. I love it so much. It's so nice when they're nice on the internet. I know. Exactly. I was like, Honey. every Look. time I read Twitter, it's like, <laughs> 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 uh, Exactly. Love fest. So thank you. Thank you for all the love. And I mean, we're almost there. Do we feel some commotion? Do we feel something happening? Do we feel something happening? Do we hear anything? Do we feel something happening? Do we hear anything happening? <laughs> Derek's like, I know who it is. I know who it Any is. favorite like, Carl quotes? Who is. Ooh. That's a good question. I have some good Carl one-liners. I mean, Go. I love that guy. If you're cheap, nothing helps. Ooh. Okay. That's a bar. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a bar for sure. My and favorite, which I tell myself every day, because this is what I wear is all the time. Is it about sweatpants? It is. <laughs> sweatpants are a sign of defeat. Yep. You, you, you lost mine. control of your life, <laughs> and so you bought some sweatpants. <laughs> you took mine. You took mine. <laughs> What's, what's so surreal about this evening is that Carl himself was not a fan of nostalgia. Right. He was relentlessly forward-looking. He was obsessed with technology. I remember when the iPads and the iPods and the i-everything came out. He had ten of every them, a dozen wow. iPod touches. And so it's sort of surreal tonight to spend so much time thinking about him uh, nostalgically in a retrospective. Yeah. Um, I definitely think if he was here tonight, knowing he was being honored at the Met Gala with an exhibition at the Costume Institute, he'd have a couple of one-liners <laughs> to deliver himself. Absolutely. So let me ask you a question. Did you get any material tonight? I did. I, I know you got some <laughs> tricks did. up your sleeve after I this did. one. A new cast of characters <laughs> to start working on. So good. Can't wait to see. <laughs> so great. Well, I heard something. I heard some clapping or some, some yelling or something going on. Wow, I love this Kendall look that we're looking at right yeah. now. Oh, it's so it's so great. 
And the hair was really on point, I have to say, tonight. Mm -hmm. Orlando of, Pita gave uh -huh. Anne Hathaway a, a beehive uh, bump it. Uh huh. A lot of ribbons and bows we saw in everyone's hair. So good. So good. I Carl think Lagerfeld, of course, was most famous for a powdered white ponytail. I think mm. Cardi B had a little tribute yes. in her she great did. Yes. do. Yeah, and Cara. Definitely. And Cara. J-Lo. J-Lo. Oh, how was J-Lo? So. Yes. Lala, you interviewed J-Lo. What was she like? She's awesome. She was at, She was like, at first I wasn't sure about the hat, but then I looked at it and I loved it. I'm like, the hat was absolutely perfect. The hat was perfect. Here she goes right here. She looked wow. incredible. Absolutely incredible. Not to comment on a woman's body, but oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Wow. The hat was cool. So many amazing looks tonight. Let's take a look at Janelle Monet as well, who I who you guys saw her. I didn't get to see her, but we saw her come her. in and she oh, had a okay. pretty elaborate monochromatic I mean a, a couture tent. Yeah. Can we call it that? Oh, wow. uh, I would what, say what, are, what are some of the verbiage? Couture tent. Oh, what was that word today at the costume exhibit? Shimon de Shimon? That's the one. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> Mary J. Blige. Who's this in the purple lace? Mary J. Lala? Blige. Oh, oh the, wow. wow. The it down like, like always. I love how florals make their way into so many of the looks tonight. Well, Absolutely. did I see you talking to Diddy today? Yes, and it was good. It was a good moment. We had some fun. <laughs> but all right, so we are going to just... Take a chill pill real quick and keep waiting. All right.
All right, so we tried and we tried. Sometimes things don't work out the way we expected, but you can catch everything on Vogue.com. You don't want to miss anything. I promise you there are some magical moments, and you never know. You never know what you're going to see, so make sure you tune in. And the night isn't over, but the show is. I just want to thank everyone so much for joining us live on the carpet at the 2023 Met Gala. If you missed anything, like I said, I said it once, I'm going to say it again, <laughs> visit Vogue.com to watch the show again. Now, I don't know about you two, but who I could really Woo! use some champagne. Yes. Champagne. Pain. I think mind. you mean sham pleasure, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that like type it. of night. It's that type of night. Good night, everybody. Good Thank night, you. Everybody. Good night. Goodbye.